and to make it the perfect mascot, we have to give it things that are toxic to monkeys, so it just keeps puking, so it's regurgitated, and we have a monkey, and it's a mascot. Welcome to the regurgitated podcast starting. Welcome to the regurgitated. Welcome to the regurgitated podcast starring Ben and Zachary Marshall. Ben That's my ben name. Marshall and Zachary Marshall. You know, so, you really can't tell, but there's something different about my background this time. Uh, it's actually a pretty major difference, but like it, you actually can't tell. Well, yes, of course. Don't 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 point out my bucket hat, bro. Oh. Uh, the bucket hat's the bucket hat's a, a subtle thing. It looks a little stupid with the headset on, but the bucket well, hat the is supposed to be a yeah. Is it the lighting? Lights are on. No, no, you actually like legitimately couldn't tell. But do you notice now? You have a bed frame. I have a new bed. <laughs> That's pretty much it. A new bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's entirely new, dude. Give me a review. Give me a bed review. Uh, it's, it's all right. It's um my 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 mommy got it for me. It's like my Christmas present because I've been sleeping on that like dude. futon pull out couch thing for a minute. It's it's good. I mean, I don't want to knock on the bed that I didn't pay for. You know, I built it. I built it myself. Um, but it is just like a basic ass bed. It creaks a little bit when I sleep on it. But I've been oversleeping a lot recently, so I guess that's a it's a negative thing, like personally. But it's a good, probably a good review on the bed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, we started off not with a bang. So I, you want to get into a bang? Please you, don't make oh, me sense with the address. Please. I hate it. <laughs> you might have two frames yeah, there. I'm okay. not sure. Okay. Um, Let's start the run, video run off with a bang. Run it it's, back in slow mo. It's Christmas time of the year. I'm a I'm a Jew, so I don't know. Are you really? No. So Christmas gift for Zach. Uh, it's a gag gift. It's not even a good gag gift. It's it. I would well, say it's a bad gift. It. Don't it's undersell it. It's a horrible gag gift. It's a very awful gag gift. I actually, I said I wouldn't get you anything because um, money, but I actually, I, I'm going to try to get you something. There's a pretty exclusive drop happening in like a couple days, and I might try to snag it as a surprise for you, but it would be for uh, the next, I don't know how long it would take to ship, hopefully next episode, if not. Uh, yeah, whatever. But um, I'll, I'll let you know. I'll be on the lookout for that. But I, I, didn't, I didn't get Ben anything, and he was so nice. So nice of him. Zoom in. Look so at him nice. smile. So smile. nice. For the, show him the pearly whites. Show him the pearly whites. So nice. Look at how nice that guy is. To get me balls. Yep. Finally <laughs> got, got the balls, balls bro. <laughs> Finally got the four of them. Yeah, more balls. Four balls. Yep. Oh, this is your, oh, this smells rank, dude. Yeah, I'm sure it does. That is like the most plasticky smell. I wish I could show this to you. This is like give give a description. The like the most plasticky smell I've ever smelled. You know what's funny? I bought um oh it comes with these little jellies. So you squeeze them and it, they puke. Oh oh oh! I'll have to get you some B-roll footage of this. Is this like the Gudenatama? No, I don't think it looks brand. definitely looks like it though, but no, it does yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. I bought um my girlfriend one of those mm -hmm. the thing. Let's call yeah. it Kevin. Yeah, squeezy thing, very similar to this. And they just came out with a Netflix show for it. And we watched like three episodes of that. Of and Goody it was Tama? um Goody Tama has his true? own Netflix show now. Yeah, and it's um Mid. It's I'll, I'll give it this for what it is. It's actually interesting for like that type of show. It actually gets to be kind of interesting, but it's not like my thing either. Yeah. Holy shit! This smells so much like plastic, dude. Um, <gasps> wait, what is, is there? Yeah, that's a horrible idea. One of my one of my friends snorted uh uh just black pepper. That was pretty sick. Um, dude, I wish I could put this somewhere where it's more in view. Well, it, you got to put the puke in. You want me to do it now? Yeah, I don't. Th I don't think it's a hard. I don't process. have anything to clean it up with, though. Is it? Is it just? just is it death. just like jelly goop? Yeah, it's like literally just like a liquid. Like it's <laughs> just a liquid in a little packet. <laughs> That's funny. So you get like four just uses a period. But that's it. Yeah, I mean, I would, I would, I would think so. That's funny. This is it's just like one use each. This, that's a very funny. <sighs> I didn't know that it was so limited. I didn't. I didn't. I. I saw. I looked oh, up. I'll, I'll have to make cute my thing. own goop. I'll yeah. have to make my own goop. Mm, yeah, dude. I'll have to go on YouTube and type in www. How to make your own goop in in the search bar. And then it's just gonna like bring you like X hamster or something. Yeah, on YouTube.com, yeah, Yes. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but there's your 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 Christmas gift, dude. Happy Christmas. Yeah, little you little you little rascal.
Little rascal guy. I am a little rascal. Yeah, you're a little rascal guy. I wish I could just. I wish I could just. You know. Wait. You can whip it. <laughs> I was trying to blow it up, but I'm like genuinely. No, I just from that. I wish I could just seal this up with just the smell and mail it back to you, so you can open it up and go. Ooh, it's like it's like the uh, oh. the amaranth farts. Something like that. Toby. I'm very familiar with the amaranth farts. <laughs> I got I got I actually 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 so again I know that I always you know um um continue to talk about the the openings of this show and then proceed to, to not do anything about it. But I actually I actually did prepare something a little bit of a segment we could do off top. Okay, hit me with it. No. Okay. There there is a um so we we did the Dolly battle, remember? Yeah, I do. Remember remember we did a little Dolly battle? Yeah. And do you remember how we did the like hot takes segment? I do. An episode or two ago. Well, the inventors of Dolly, the company that makes it, OpenAI, released a new AI tool this past week. I've shared it with you, ChatGPT, mm-hmm. and I told it to give us a list of 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 hot take stuff to run through. Okay. Very in our very in our style. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do um, someone I, else I, do the work for us? <laughs> well, yes, pretty much. This is now another one of those AI generated episodes. Dude, I had um, chili at like two p.m. today. I just found a piece of chili in my beard. It's a little piece of chili. Go ahead. Sorry, I need to cut you off. This is the most homeless show on the <laughs> internet. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, I told. Uh, uh, haw, haw, I'll, 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 do, I'll do another like little intro. <laughs> we we told uh, Chat GPT to make us thirty five different hot take hot take 35? hot take questions thirty five hot take questions. Okay, I'm gonna run through them all. Ben, tell them, tell them how we're going to run through them. We're going to run through them very quickly and, and smartly. And we're going to talk about how we, d- how the AI thinks things are hot takes. I watched I mean, Andrew Tate talk to a guy. It was an interview. And it was a guy that was very aware of Andrew Tate's uh, ignorance. And it was one of the funniest things I've ever watched. Unrelated. I just wanted to say that. If you seen the 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 like very homoerotic looking picture of him with Aiden Ross, yes, the one who is going to be a porn. I feel like they know what they're doing. Yeah, I. Well, okay. I don't think that I don't think that Andrew Tate. I mean, Aiden Ross doesn't care, but I I feel like Andrew Tate wouldn't would be like very against looking gay because it's beta. Being ba- gay is beta. No, but I feel like they know that that's why it plays into the algorithm. Is I feel like they're both playing like these characters of like look at how stupid. And Aiden Ross does this thing occasionally too. And we're now breaking up segments but Aiden Ross does this thing too where he'll he'll I feel like pretend to be dumber than he is because he knows it gets reactions out of people have you seen the clip of him circulating around recently pretending like he doesn't know what the word fascist means yeah, yeah he's like yeah, reading it off yeah. and it's just very clearly yeah. what does a fascist mean yo all right bro see what I'm saying chat like this is why I don't fuck with y'all bro there's there's other examples of it but like you know, some, I'm sure he's not like the most intelligent person, um, you know, on the, on the planet or anything. But I feel like he knows what he's doing. He plays into it a little too much, and I I, I kind of see through that. Same thing with it's speed. Yeah, I feel like a speed. lot of people are like, oh my god, how how could he be so stupid? And like maybe there's some elements of truth into that. But I feel like a lot of times they're playing it up. They're playing into it just to get reactions out of their audience or whatever. My personal feeling, am I calling people out? You are. We're actually starting beef on the Regurgitated Podcast. Mm. But there's an element of it where it's like you're playing a character of yourself, right? I saw um, there was some guy who interviewed Nick Akato Avocado recently. I have a very Please famous say guy it's the and, same exact guy that I'm talking about interviewing. It, it might be. I actually don't know the guy's name. I've Is seen it, him around online before. It's a dude before. with a fucking with, with curly long hair yeah. and a mustache. Oopaville, yeah, yeah. bro. That's exactly who I was talking about. Well, That's so, so funny. He he brought up a really good point where he was interviewing Nick Akato and he was like, oh, everyone keeps asking me, are you doing a character? And it's hard to explain because you're not doing a character, but you are doing a character. You know what I mean? Like you're you're playing yourself up a little bit. And I feel like maybe there's an element of that um, with some of these people as well and with me as well. Aiden Ross, I feel like he'd be up front because he said like he, when he's done crypto scams, he's like, yeah, bro, that was a scam. Sorry. <laughs> Like he just says it. He doesn't. He doesn't really like. I, I feel like he wouldn't lie or like or like put up a front. I feel like there's a difference though between like taking accountability for when you like messed up for something and like putting on a sh- like 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 pretending you don't know 
something you kind of already know. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, I guess, maybe he doesn't yeah. know the intricacies of fascism, right? But as he's struggling to pronounce the word fascist and he's struggling to pronounce like I forget what words they were, but very basic words in the description of it. I feel like he's playing up a little bit how much he doesn't know about the right. the topic at hand. Right. So people in the comments instinctively go like, oh, what the fuck? I can't believe look how fucking stupid this guy yeah, is or yeah, something. How yeah. is this guy popular? Wow. Um, but that's just a feeling. Well, I don't know. I think I, this is just this is just a, an aside. It's not really that important to what you were talking about. I also think that it's interesting that Aiden Ross probably has some level of intelligence that he chooses not to display uh and plays the idiot and andrew tate i personally believe that andrew tate is play, has always played a character uh up to a point i think that he's genuinely a, probably a bad person but i think that he definitely knows what is going to get the the clicks and get him his dope yeah, I, I, again they're, 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 we, we've talked about andrew tate before i think there's we some elements of andrew tate where it's like oh you're just talking through like kind of basic yeah. skills and how to do this this and that and it's accurate and it's right um but then he'll go off and say something very controversial and so you can juxtapose those two things to yeah. defend him and then you can get reactionary stuff out of it whether or not he's a good person genuinely at his core i won't make comments on i don't i don't i don't know the guy i frankly don't know the guy yeah that's it i don't um do you hit, want, me, with do your, you want to hit me with your hot takes, though, guys. Yeah, well, this is the hot take segment. Go ahead. We'll we'll, we'll cut it back into the we'll cut, cut it back it, into this back for, in. for 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 shorts or something. Is it acceptable to use a toilet brush as a toothbrush? That's not a hot take that that came up. There's no possible way that that is a hot take. I I told so I I I forget the specific prompt that I gave it, but I told Chat GPT to get a little weird with it. Okay, so I went to a little question. weird with it. I'm I'm happy because this is this leads to more discussion, right? Here's the thing about that. If it is a clean toilet brush and you have a big ass mouth, <laughs> have at it, my brother. That's that is your prerogative. Go for it. That's my that's my take. That's a, that's a real hot take. People are going to be vehemently disagreeing with that mm-hmm. down in the down in the comments. People people are not going to forgive. There's going to be some fucker in the in the in the shorts comments. I have a big ass yeah. mouth. He's like, I have a big ass mouth when I use this shit. You're so fucking dumb, bro. Garbage, gross. Yeah, and I have disgusting. a big ass mouth, and I don't think it's a problem to use the dirtiest <laughs> yeah. toilet uh, what is, brush what, possible. What are some good comments that we get? I'm just I'm just trying to think of like a good, like. Uh, like I'll said, get to comments. I want to get to oh, comments, you comments a little you a, bit. You have a comments thing? I don't have comments prepared, but I want to bring up a few okay, of them. Okay, let's do it. All right, all right. Oh, wait, but oh, wait, number wait. two, number two, should we genetically engineer humans to have tails for better balance? I like these questions. The answer is no, <laughs> but it <laughs> well, would be I don't know, funny. Would you, well, let, let's ask you this. Would you, if you could choose to get a tail right now, would you? So it depends on how much work that is. And how much upkeep? Because you know how, like, when you if how much upkeep? You know how, like, boobs. If you have if you have fat tits, then the, 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 it's like a, basically another armpit under your titty. If it's gonna be like one of those on my ass, I'd probably like to avoid it. And sitting on the <laughs> Please toilet, get a, a, a a a a doctor to comment on that. <laughs> if 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 the uh, under your boob is like an armpit, so uh, if if like. You know, the, the under the tail, like that little little area under the tail is going to like be like really extra stinky and like potentially sweaty and uncomfortable. And also, am I, when I sit on the toilet, am I going to have like a thing that allows my tail to not go right in the toilet or do I have to manually move it out of the way? Do I have full function of it without using my you, hands? You'll have a custom toilet. I'll have a custom a toilet. But will your, I be able to control the tail? tail? Yeah, we well, can grab things with it. So it's, it's going to be less like a... It's like a monkey tail. It's gonna be like a monkey tail, like a spider monkey. Tail. I guess I didn't. It didn't specify. Would you rather have a monkey tail or a dog? Yeah, because like because like a dog tail just wags, right? You can you know yeah. you can move it, but it doesn't it doesn't have like you know monkey Actors tail. Actors now having to worry about not trying to wag their tail when they're really <laughs> sad. I love monkeys. So it's favorite animal second to, uh, second only to dogs. Um, I love monkeys, and I would love to have a monkey tail. Period. How about you? Can we get like when we get like a real office and table for all this stuff? Can we get like a Michael Jackson style bubbles, the monkey that just oh, like yes. walks around Absolutely. and just trashes shit? I want, can we be the first YouTube channel to own a monkey? 
I, well, we wouldn't be the first. I don't think we'd be anywhere close to the first, but we could no, be the first like, podcast. Like that's but... not like monkey related content that just so happens to own a monkey. Like well, I we, want an office monkey. Well, we got to do it really hard to hire people because then they have to come in and interview and they're like you're the perfect candidate. By the way, we let a monkey destroy our work environment <laughs> on, on a regular basis and for fun. It, and to make it the perfect mascot, we have to give it things that are toxic to monkeys, so it just keeps puking, so it's regurgitated, and we have a monkey, and it's a mascot. You, weren't you the one that said that your TikTok feed got filled with animal abuse? <laughs> that dude, that's just it's 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 influencing me. I one time this is I don't know if this is still a thing or not, but someone told me that there was like an underground like community of people on YouTube that just post people abusing monkeys on YouTube, and I was like, "There's no way this is true." And I looked it up and I found it, and I was like, "Oh my god!" There's like real like monkey mutilation and brutality on YouTube, and there's people like commenting like, "Ha ha ha, love this!" Like under yeah, all of this yeah, stuff and like following thing. each other. Fucking and then weird. I, I I left it. I left it alone. But then YouTube kept recommending me these monkeys being tortured, and it was hor- it was horrible. I had to yeah. like leave my personal YouTube account for a while. Yeah, I the, was just morbidly curious to view this stuff. Yeah, the 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 thing about uh, I, I, I sometimes will stray away from watching YouTube videos. Cause like, uh, I, I'm trying to think of a content creator that I like, but I don't watch, uh, Zach Marshall. No, but pretend, pretend that was the case where I like, I like you as, as a person and as a, as a creator, but I don't watch your content. I don't want to get uh, your content in my algorithm continuously by watching one fucking video because YouTube likes you. Like, for example, I mean, I, 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 it's a good example is Markiplier. Like, I don't, I never will watch, like, if I see a Markiplier video that has my exact interests, like, if you were to play Pokemon, I'd be like, okay, click, right? But I, but then, it, because he's so good with the algorithm, my whole feed would be fucking Markiplier for, for weeks. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, you clicked on that OnlyFans video and now your, your feed is screwed. Yes, literally. Would you want a tail? If I could grab things with it, I would. I it's think it'd like be a fun it's party. Like a third trip. arm on your on your ass. Yeah. How would yeah. uh? Is it would there be a point in the tail where it's <laughs> I could like fuck my own ass with my monkey tail? Well, I was thinking about that too, but <laughs> there there's a point like in dog tails where it's kind of like it goes from like very stuck to the body, like very uh, droopy. Yeah, it goes from not, got not being droopy tail. to being droopy, right? So there's like a point, a part, part of it that's like kind of an like erect dro- tail. It's erect, and then there's a droopy part to a f- flaccid tail. So I, would I be able to move uh, without being uncomfortable? Move the the tail out of my ass when I get railed? <laughs> All right, we're gonna move on to the next question. Uh, uh, should it be legal to marry your toaster? Yeah, why not? Yeah, sure, go for it, dude. Um, is it okay to wear a tuxedo at a beach wedding? This is actually a really good. This is actually a really good take. I, I imagine so. I imagine you have to wear a tuxedo for a wedding. So I'm the most like thoughtless person when it comes to like I, I, uh, uh, that kind of stuff, like it's fashion. I would do. I would do that. And You're not, looking pretty stylish right now. You know what? It's because I had nothing else in my closet. I'll put you on a magazine <laughs> um, cover, baby. You think so? You think I look? I have yeah. a. Now you're gonna yeah, make we'll me. Take, like, we'll take a we'll take a more full range picture of you, and we'll put you on the cover of regurgitated. Monthly. Now you're gonna make me like edit that, quarterly. dude. I gotta do like a full I'll just send Photoshop me the, send document. Me the, send, just send me the send me the the the, the pic. Okay, okay. Um, but I have no sense of fashion, and uh, I get. Are you kidding me? Nintendo Monthly <laughs> love loves you. Um. And I would do that without a thought or else I'd also wear just like a graphic tee to a wedding and not be like, and be like, oh shit, shouldn't have worn this. But I guess the question is more so like, do you wear a tuxedo on, on a beach wedding? I would. Implying that like you, you wouldn't. What if it was a no, I would, I like would. tuxedo? Okay. Okay. I would. okay. I would. I'm pretty sure I've been to a beach wedding where we all wore tuxedos and yeah. they didn't think about it. But now yeah. it would be funny though to have a, a beach wedding and then kind of like question, calling the question, everyone being like, I don't know if you should be wearing I almost said mosquitoes. Be wearing tuxedos on the beach. Yeah, I, 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 I would do it regardless. I, I think that would, I think it would also just be funny if everybody was wearing just normal like beach clothes and for a wedding or whatever, and I was wearing a whole ass tuxedo. I think that'd be a good like. I'm the kind of person that if I had bigger balls, I would I would crash parties like with they'd be like specifically do not wear pink, and I would be the person to show up in pink as the best man. I, dude, I'd be the the bride. 
Yeah, you would show up and just like to marry your friend. Yeah. Which one? Dude, this is comedy. That's what I'm saying, dog. This is comedy. This is comedy. You show up and marry your friend, dude. That's funny. I know. Dude, a little XD marriage. <laughs> Outlaw it. Should we replace all stop all, all street lights with disco balls? Yes. Yeah. I don't know why you wouldn't. Is it okay to use your pet as a handbag? I don't know. Go for it. Okay. That's a great question. How do you feel about taxidermy? I think you should be able to taxidermy yourself if you want to, which is currently illegal. I was talking about animals, but that is an interesting take. <laughs> no, I but like heard. that's a that's a that's a thought that I wanted because it's illegal to to do that with a human body. There, there's something about it. If you Google it, it'll give you a reason. There's some law that prevents you from doing that for some reason, but you should hmm. be able to. If I want to stuff myself and put me in the in the in the living room um, while I'm dead. Well, I also think uh, that there's the, it's, it would be f- I, I, with an animal. It's, I feel like it's, it would be less traumatic. I, I would, I would not want to text me my, my animal. I would want to be able to move on from that. Um, with well, a person, I feel like it would be traumatic for like almost anybody to be like my, my person is standing there again. Did you see that 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 rapper? This was like a year or two ago. That rapper died. He got shot and killed. And they were um, they announced a tribute show for him, and they put his dead body on display. Oh, I they think I did his, hear that. They hung his dead body on the stage as they played his music, and they did not tell people that that was happening in advance. They just told people this is like a tribute show, and invited everyone out there. And they showed up, and there was his dead body hanging up front, his real life dead yeah. body, not a joke. They did this. Um, that's that's. That's some fucking video whack of it. shit. You bro. can watch the video. Of people at this event going like, "What the fuck is that?" Um, I don't think that will be safe to put in this. No, just put. I'll this. overlay it, dude. Don't worry. <laughs> just put a little. Is it disrespectful if we put like an emoji like over his <laughs> over his body or something? Like the skull emoji. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm dead. Should yes. we, yeah. Should we replace all cars with giant hamster wheels? Uh, I feel like a hamster wheel implies going in place. Hamster ball, yes. Yeah, so, well, yeah. Monkey balls. Dude, Super Monkey Ball is a good game. Um, so it was a great game. Super Monkey Ball was underrated. I, I feel like it was rated appropriately. I feel like everybody no, liked mon- it. Monkey, 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 monkey ball pro, dude. What is monkey ball pro? <laughs> Explain me. me what monkey ball pro is. I monkey ball pro. You monkey ball pro? Is that a verb? I monkey ball pro. I Noun. or I? I monkey ball pro. Is that are you just is this is just bad grammar or is it a verb? <laughs> anyway, yeah, I think that uh, what do you actually, mean? That'd be a cool thing. Well, how would it be used as a verb? I monkey ball pro these nuts. No one thought that. No <laughs> one thought I, that. I that thought was that. just a I you thing. That. Why did you think that? Because you said I monkey ball pro. You only if you say I, it's a verb normally. I am. I farted. I fart. I shit. I shit and traumatize my girlfriend. I beat uh, the uh, the steak. Is it acceptable to wear pajamas at a job interview? No, no, you're not getting the job, my brother. Unless you're, you, if we, well, if we, if we, if we're hiring someone and they show up in pajamas, is that is that a power play? And I will, I will hire them. And I'll actually give them my. Position. Oh, so you're just going back on your word. So you were lying. I you're will, saying most I, people. I, I'm saying anybody but me would probably not give you the job. I like I, I would dig the power play though. Like I, I need that's funny to me. So that that would that would be something. I do want to have like an office culture where you can just wear like you know nothing. W- essentially, whatever you want. Um, obviously no hate symbols. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, they, like, we just got like skinheads <laughs> with like swazis on their. Fucking- <laughs> yeah, we're not hiring. <laughs> we're not hiring neo Nazis now. But well, at, uh, according to Social Blade. Oh my God! Yes. Um, God, do I even want to bring that up, or does that look bad on us? Um, I think that it shows us that the that the jokes we're making and the the way the things we're highlighting are probably not what we should be doing. We got to do a hard. We got to do a hard, a hard, hard turn, hard, hard pivot. pivot. Yeah, yeah. regurgitated twenty twenty three. We got ideas. We we have ideas. Don't be. <laughs> That's our new tagline. We got ideas. We do have. We do have ideas. I think the uh, me ending me like not knowing what to say, so I just say like uh, now I'm racist is probably like not 
<laughs> not killer for the algorithm. <laughs> like, well, yeah, you take you take it you take it out of context. Well, I'm, yeah. there's a lot of words that I'm sure are getting thrown in the mix of things that, like, when YouTube's doing the transcript, they're like, mm. yeah. I mean, you can. YouTube will do have the automatic uh, uh, subtitle thing, and if it picks yeah. up a, like like a, like a word that is just deemed like the like the and I think I know the N word for example, but like most slurs, uh, it'll immediately demonetize you. You know, won't do any like secondary. Well, that's why if you look at clips, I'm not like avoiding that type of content. But if there's any, it's weird because I like fuck yes, keep it in. But when I said like come, I I, yeah. I like it's very clearly is pot yeah. you can. Yeah by context pick up on what i'm saying but i'll put the little noise over it and then the thing yeah you know what i mean you know what i mean it's like specific words where i kind of think like that's like an over sexualized word i might like take that out for short and what's what's interesting is because i my brain thinks in youtube 20 16 17 18 style which is like you're not uh, new school baby uh, the new school well the thing is like the old school is like you know don't swear in the first five minutes or whatever it was normally like the the idea depending on the length of the video but now with what we're doing with shorts which is our most common thing what we what <laughs> that was for money that was so that the the uh so your video didn't get demonetized and your video hit hit a feed this for the shorts the shorts don't make money we're just doing it for the feed. Yeah. We're just purely well, doing yeah, it for now the feed. We are doing it for the feed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they will make money next year. Oh, I mean, I'm, I, I, as I've heard, shorts make one tenth of the the money that a, a full YouTube video would make. They don't make any money right now yeah. at all. Yeah. But I they mean, will TikTok's, make money next year. Some uh, The people that are like the biggest on TikTok, I know that like it's obviously an exponential thing, but the biggest people on TikTok, I don't, they, I mean, they probably make, you know, I mean, they make a lot, but like much less than they should be making based on their. Well, scope. There, there, there's there's all sorts of ways you can monetize that content, right? Like like I think especially for us, like shorts is kind of like the entry point for the algorithm, yeah. right? For people to to enter into the content, and then it funnels into other larger things. You know, in a, in an in an ideal, I mean, a lot of those people that make money off of that do like sponsored content, right? They do like brand deals and whatnot, or they sell other things on the yeah. other side. Yeah. Um, I, I think that like for something like this for monetization, there's like a million different things you could do, but shorts might not be as big of a pie of that as you know. Yeah, you would you you want given the percentages. Yeah, I mean, but I, that's a that's a separate conversation. I'm very like, I was thinking about this today, and this is like related but unrelated. We uh, there was a long portion of time like I had I had CAG do where it was f- five different people, you know. Three of us would uh, would would edit a video, and I I do the most editing most of the time, um, and uh, it was a collaborative effort, but it was all for a kind of different. Like Evan would work on his set of series for CAG do series series, I would work on mine. You know, whoever else would work on whatever variety of video they were working on. It's very interesting to me. We are working on the same thing, just in the different. You know, you're working on just like the shortened version of what I'm working on, the cut down version of what I'm working on. Very cool collaborative thing. Uh, I I very much like it. And I like how the work is distributed uh, because I do a lot of like upfront editing and you do the, let me take what you did, you, you did make it funnier and, and, and make more people see it. Sometimes. Yeah. Well, I, I, I think that there's a lot of really interesting things. We, we've talked kind of behind the scenes in some of the ways we could, we could take this. And I think, you know, next year, depending on how things go and how, open either of us are to what ideas we're doing there's there's a lot of really interesting ideas for like alternative comments or alternative yeah. alternative content and alternative formats for what we're doing right now that might be really interesting yeah, um, like ejaculated the anime podcast yeah well i think i think um i want to get this show good too <laughs> like i yeah. want i wanted to be like actually uh uh we are funny we're funny right ben dude derp <laughs> Said Rar said I means I love you in dinosaur. I love you, dude. Rar. <laughs> <laughs> well, derp, uh, merp. Well, I fucking, I want to kill myself, dude. That's crazy. We can, yeah. Please move we, on. Should we? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fucking dumb. <laughs> I don't know why I actually didn't read through all of these. So this one's actually uh, a first time for me. Should we replace all traffic lights with interpretive dance? Why it's with the traffic lights questions. I don't understand. I this. think, I think it repeated some of these this, like setups over and over again. Um, I would love it. Honestly. Hey, well, 
the you know, if, if Chat GPT interpretive dance, I mean, works perfectly. If, if Chat GPT is going to take jobs from people, if AI is going to take jobs from people, we, we got to em- employ these people somehow. Interpretive streetlight dancing. Uh what do you mean by this? There are, are there going to be people employed to dance oh, to tell I see you exactly what you're saying? I thought yeah, you get so to a stoplight like and you just go have to like hit a hit a thing and then you can go. Yeah, maybe a little. A little bit of means 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 like a yellow light, like hey, you got to slow down, right, right. And maybe old means oh, game go. style, like a yeah, and like maybe like a dun, dun, do the macarena means stop. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, fair enough. Is that interpretive like though? That. <laughs> you can interpret it however the fuck you want. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a great idea. Proud of you. Shh, is it okay to use a fork to eat spaghetti? Nope. Um, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that's like the most, of course, dude. Honestly, everybody out there that's eating spaghetti with a fork, fuck uh, you. That's that's horrifying that you would do that. Genuinely disgusting. Go to Olive Garden. Go to Olive Garden. Walk up to Ed Sheeran at Olive Garden and say, "Hey, I eat, can I get a fork?" And he'll shun you. He'll say, "I'm I'm I'm in love with the shape of your body," and then not, and then you get kicked out. <laughs> I have no. Joke. Monkey dude. ball. I monkey ball pro. I monkey ball pro. Dude. <laughs> I monkey ball pro. Dude. Um, it's so fucking stupid. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. We wonder why no one watches this, and I just say I monkey ball pro. Should we genetically engineer humans to have wings? Yeah. Okay. What's with the with the with the with the with the, with the uh, uh, get ready get ready Ben? I got a lot more. We're not even. Wait, I want to talk through. about the wings. Okay. Anybody that said, "Would you rather be, have the ability to go invisible or uh, fly?" If you chose fly, kill yourself. Go ahead. Sorry, I, I wait. Edgy, 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 edgy. Uh, if you chose fly, uh, 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 what's the right term? Unalive yourself. Unalive yourself. There you go. I don't think the algorithm. Okay, quick little mini rant. You're, the algorithms aren't fucking stupid, right? They're not babying. If you spell out a word, they're gonna know what the word is. Yeah, yeah. It, they, they, it can pick up on context now. All this, all this little pansy stuff I keep seeing on the feed, especially on TikTok, are people using alternative words. If you're doing it to not trigger someone, that's fine. But the topic of unaliving yourself is still the exact same topic, and yeah. will emotionally induce the same reaction set of people um, that have been through that regardless um so you're not circumventing the algorithm if you want to have a real conversation around that topic have a real conversation around that topic and if you want to do it to avoid triggering people avoid it to, to, to trigger people that's a, that's a valid concern yeah but the algorithm no ai yeah. is not a baby at least anymore you you know what i mean it's it's no longer it knows what you're talking about yeah it knows the content and what people are talking about around that video so people, the people, you. people that are saying unalive yourself. Well, it's not just that one. Let me be clear. It's not just the unalive yourself thing. I, and I'm, I'm struggling to think of alternative examples, but I'll see it all the time. You know what I mean? Where like someone will want to put like um, a, an alternative word version of a word that's like slightly edgy in their content. And it's like, I don't know. We just talked earlier about bleeping stuff out, but that's more of like, th- there are certain words that will, you know, that, that will flag it right yeah. um but but people still know the the content of what's going on in your video yeah i agree typically i agree i'm with you should yeah should we okay, okay. is it acceptable to wear a tutu to a formal event uh what is the event mm-hmm. I, I, should, as we, an, as should a, we replace all elevators with trampolines that would be sick as shit if you could get a, really like sick. a 30 floor building and you just hop on a trampoline and you're you're there ADA requirements. Huh. What is AD? What is ADA? The Americans Americans with Disabilities Act. Uh, I don't know any of those. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> is it okay to use a phone as a mirror? No. Yeah. Die. <laughs> no. I'll I'll, uh, I'll hear you know the the sound of like an, an iPhone unlocking. I think so. If you if you played it for me, I would I would know, but I don't. Uh, when I'm driving, 
uh, and I'm talking to Alexis, I'll sometimes hear her in the, and I'll just hear that sound on the passenger seat, and I'll know immediately that she's like checking her like eyelashes or or something or her lipstick or something. She does it all the time. I have a mirror. You can pull it down. It's right there. But she does not want to use it. She uses her fucking phone. She wants angles. She wants the angles, I guess. Yeah. And she wants to see the angles. Yeah. Is that, is that an angle? That's a good angle, right? It's a good angle. Yeah. Put a put a put a put a put a kissy emoji in chat if that's a good angle. Oh, look at that, dude. Sm- oh, that doesn't make you subscribe right there. I don't know what will. Smell your mustache, dude. It smells weird. I don't have a. Oh, oh. it's the most plasticky smell I've ever smelled. You were also snorting. You were also snorting little pukey toys. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. I was snorting pukey toys. <laughs> um. Uh, should we replace all escalators with water slides? Yeah. What about the uh, up? It, <laughs> that's it. Trampolines. Okay. Well, that's... you go up with trampolines down with water slides. Okay. But so you only go up vertically and not diagonally. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Um, is it acceptable to wear Crocs with a suit? Yes. Uh, should we genetically engineer humans to have gills? What is with this? If, uh, would you, you could add anything to the end of that. You could add, add anything to the end of that. Tail, tails, <laughs> wings, gills. Well, you make one then. If, the, if you're so smart, if you're smarter than AI, make up one. So there is a character in Banjo Tooie that has a third arm. Of course, arm. there is. There's a, bear, a character that has the third arm. Should we genetically animate this bear third arm? Yes, we should. Yes, we should. Period. That's funny. Okay, it's funny to have gills. It's funny to have a tail. It's funny to have wings. Why are you funny making fun a- of my AI? This is revolutionary. No, chat GPT. This technology, this technology is 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 here. It's 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 going to disrupt industries. And you're just sitting here calling it calling it silly. Yeah, you can come up with um if if you should genetically engineer if people should have a third arm. But you know what? I already have a third arm. Dude. <laughs> I, 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 they call me a tripod for a reason, my brother. That's not an arm. Is it okay to eat to use a fork to eat salad? I think I'm beginning to there see. There are like theme three here. different Think things right. that they know how to say. Hey, should we replace all buses with roller coasters? Calm down. That would be kind of sick. Like, like imagine if what Elon Musk <laughs> wanted to do worked, right? I just read another one. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have read ahead. Because it made genuinely made me laugh. Yeah, what if Elon Musk did work? Yeah, what if he bought Twitter and went? Well, <laughs> well you know um, how he's going to have the underground. He wants the underground highways or whatever that are like no, there's no traffic. Yeah, the hyperloop. He wants the hyperloop. What if they did that, but with like like Boulder Dash roller coasters or like your Slip wild and cat. slides to work? There's a lot of we're having a lot of fun on a normal day. We have water slides down escalators. <laughs> this is a paradise. Elevators. This is our paradise. Okay, so yeah, so so far, uh, humans have tails, wings, uh, a third gills. arm. Yeah, gills. and gills. <laughs> <laughs> and when, and so you go to work on, um, on roller coasters and when you get there, you go up on trampolines, down on water slides. And when you need to stop on any of those transportations, there are interpretive dancers <laughs> and disco balls who uh, stop, stop you in, in the direct traffic, which I don't know why you need to direct traffic if everything's a straight shot, but you know what? Well, Sometimes you change I, your mind. I'm not going to complain about an interpretive dancer. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm happy with it. <laughs> That's, I'll never yeah, complain. I'm not going to complain about an interpretive dancer. I'll never That's a complain. good model to live your life by. I'm <laughs> yeah. never going to complain about an not interpretive once. dancer. I never, just never have. You just, just you at a at a, at an opera at a theater play, and you're like, well, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> yeah. See, you're at least you're getting it, dude. You see, you get it. <laughs> oh yeah, but I read ahead to this next one. Okay. Is it acceptable to wear a superhuman costume at a funeral? <laughs> it's not to me it's not the the, the, the i'll wear it to your funeral to me the 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 prompt isn't as funny as your your reaction to it i don't know why i laughed at it but then i read the next one again and it made me laugh again but uh um (laughs) oh should we replace all sidewalks with trampolines Sure. Uh, we, got, we got trampolines on the sidewalks and on the, <laughs> of the elevators, bro. You just have to play like Flappy Bird. <laughs> Life is just Flappy Bird. Is it okay to to use a fork to eat sushi? Actually, I feel like people would say no to that. I feel like people would people say no would. to that. I know people would. 
Uh, yeah. Should we genetically engineer humans to have tentacles? Okay, it's continuing. <laughs> There's a theme here. Yeah, uh, yes, we should. Yes, we should. We'll, That's the we'll answer. Rush, we'll bull rush through these. Is it acceptable to wear a swimsuit at a black tie event? I feel like the purpose of a black tie is the event black is, tie. is the black tie. Yeah. yeah. Should should we replace all buildings with tree houses? Now that's an idea. <laughs> that's should we This is such a paradise, dude. <laughs> Every option is so fun. What if it's winter? What if it's winter? That's true. We're gonna have gonna have any leaves. Should we replace all buildings with tree houses? Oh yeah, no, I already read that one. Is it okay <laughs> to eat is it okay to use a fork to eat a burrito? No. Yeah. Um should we genetically engineer humans that take? Oh, I did the same one twice. <laughs> Is it acceptable to wear a onesie at a wedding? Should we yeah. replace all trains with monorails? That's fun. Okay, so trains are monorails, and yeah. highways are roller coasters, and mm-hmm. sidewalks are trampolines, as well as elevators are trampolines. I'm loving this, dude. Buildings are trampolines. Is it okay houses. to use a fork to eat a sandwich? Should we yeah, genetically engineer funny. humans to have wings? Done. Is it, is it is it acceptable to wear pajamas at a party? Probably. I do it every time. Should we replace all buses with hovercrafts? Damn. Okay. So we can do that. I'm confused by that. How does that fit into our paradise? If if so highways highways are roller coasters, trains are monorails, and buses are hovercrafts buses are hovercrafts probably the buses, most normal form women of transportation be shopping and buses do be hovercrafting yeah is it okay to use a fork to eat a bowl of cereal if you don't want the milk <laughs> that's a punchline it's a, it's, a, it's a jerry seinfeld like um is it okay to use a fork to eat cereal well maybe if you don't like the milk dude i i mean Sometimes some people are lactose intolerant. I don't know what to say. Asians. That's the rest of them? That's all of them? Well, the one more, the last one is just a repeat. Should we genetically engineer humans to have gills? But um, I I, I don't want to just leave it with no context. I mean, just saying Asians. They they have a, I said Asians. Did you not hear me? No. They're like mostly lactose intolerant, right? Asian folk. Like Korean people, they're oh, mostly lactose intolerant, no and they all. This is going to sound like eugenics, but I promise you, it's not. They all they all have that gene that makes them not have bo. Is that true? Google it. Google. Okay, look, look, look. Right hand to God, I'll admit it's my left hand. Oh, but now it's flipped. Oh no! Both hands to God. Both hands to God. Um. Uh, if I'm wrong, I will make a full apology video, but pull up the research. There's um, a gene that causes BO in sweat and it's lacking in like most like Korean people or something or some Asian um, version of people. Interesting. I didn't know that. So if I go to, if I go to Korea, I won't smell like shit anymore. I think it'll stand out more. <laughs> I think RTX cover covers up your odor pretty true, nicely. True, true, true. RTX on, you know what I mean? You know what's weird about going to Europe? Hmm. It had a smell. It smelled like Europe. And I don't, I don't know. Is it like how you can go to like a, 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 a beach and you can smell it from like miles away? A little bit. It has a distinct European odor. Can you give me like that, a, like give like an ex- example of what it could well, be? Well, a hint of it is cigarettes because everyone's smoking. Fair enough. Everyone's smoking in Europe. Fair enough. Smoking hot, ugly. Well, you're, you're you're leading me on, and you you said smoking hot, and I'm like, let's go to <laughs> let's go to let's, let's go, go to, to let's, let's go, go to, to Europe. You. And then ugly. No, it's not. I don't know. I'm not gonna go to Europe. We'll stay here where people look like me. Thank you. Yo, true. <laughs> High five. That's going to be backwards. But. Wait, can we, can we talk? <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> um, hey, want to start a podcast? Oh, is this our origin story? Are we reenacting our origin story? Yeah. Are we reenacting our oranges we story? Got, we got on call. We got on call. This is flashback May, like, or beginning of May, end of, oh, it's too much. And, uh, beginning of May, end of April. <laughs> beginning of May, end of April. 
I got on a call videos on lighting optimal. <laughs> <laughs> set up lighting and just unprompted not talked before i said hey do you want to start a podcast i said no i said all right i got a big boy i got a big boy job i said i, I said, got stuff to do i said i said all right zach well let me know if anything changes i said i got fired from my job do you want to do a podcast I said, I said, yes. <laughs> that was pretty much it that, that really uh, was it i mean it was just it was just luck of the draw for me and it happened twice, twice in a year. One day, I'll, 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 I'll kind of recount the whole story of of um, why I was fired twice in one year. But I, I would say I learned a lot this year, and I grew a lot this year, and it was worth it. Um, but the issue is that I still have like somewhat of relationships with the people that this involves, and I'm not going to call people on blast. And I don't feel like I've properly like digested it. So I'm still fresh on my mind. Yeah. I'm a biased source. I'm an unreliable source to get the story from, despite you not knowing the story at all. I don't know the story even, even slightly. I'm a mysterious man. I purpose- catch me, catch me in your local alleyway and I sell things out of here. It's empty right now, but usually there's elixirs. Like herbs. Potions. No. No herbs? I run an apothecary. And in here. I feel like if you had an apothecary, you should definitely have herbs. That should be like one of the main things you have are herbs. You know what's you know what's interesting? Yeah. Um, you know, I don't know about all European languages, but certainly in German, the word for pharmacy is apothetic. And um it, it's the derivative of what apothecary became. And I just thought it was interesting because because for me, apothecary is such a fantasy realm word. Yeah, you know what I is. mean? It's such it's such a medieval fantasy mm-hmm. realm word. And to see things say like almost apothecary everywhere was really interesting. Although I will say as a quick note, if anyone, good lord, the help your soul has watched all these episodes or in the future has gone back and watched all these episodes. I said some stuff wrong. Uh I said some stuff wrong about I got some shit wrong last episode on um some German stuff. And you, some European stuff. Did you? Well, first, first one, the word for power, you said was mocken. And I said, no, that means you said mocked. And I said, no, that means to make. I was thinking of 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 machen, which means um, to make. But hmm. you were correct. Mocked means power. Um, I corrected you on that. Like that was incorrect. But totally, you were absolutely right. I was just dumb and still didn't learn. Even after that incident, I still didn't learn what the proper word was. Um there was another thing or two that I was watching where I was like, I wish I could go back and like re-clarify that or like re. Um, oh, another one like in Shuligong, like the words should have been like as to me lied, like instead, like that's a more be- better way of saying I'm sorry in the sentence I said. Um, just weird stuff like that, that like no one probably watches. But like if you were a German speaking person and you watched that, you were like this fucking guy. Well, he I, speaks a little bit I of German like, and said all that shit wrong. Well, when, when someone foreign comes to you and they speak to you in English, you understand, but it's broken. You don't you don't think this fucking guy with a shitty English. That's a really interesting point. That's a really interesting point because no, because that um, I mean that that'll happen to you like in Europe, right? Like you you're out there and people will be like, you speak fucking dumb. Like sometimes people would do the thing where like I would start speaking to them in German and they, they wouldn't even try to speak to me in German. They would just immediately switch to English because mm-hmm. they knew. Mm-hmm. Um, and sometimes people would give me the time of day and let me talk or whatever. I got better at it. So towards the end, more people were letting me talk and talk and talk. And I think I was, I was getting much better at speaking German, but there, there were some people that were just like, don't talk to me in German like that. If you're going to talk like that. Um, it was kind of like, the, so, if you're in America, speak English. Or you could, kind of, but I feel like that's very, I don't want to say it's rare in America because it happens all the time. But if you were at a grocery store and you heard someone, you heard a, a person with a thick Spanish accent, speaking to someone and they just said don't even try to speak english you'd say like that guy is like yeah racist yeah, yeah, you know what i mean yeah. but if you are in europe and correct me if i'm wrong maybe i'm wrong about this and, and you're like you don't speak don't speak german like just don't mm-hmm. do that like you're you suck people would be like oh that's just a normal thing really maybe like, you suck but you suck at speaking like german you know you what s- i mean not maybe that you personally suck but if they're just like don't do that like you suck at speaking german is it because they hate americans I don't think they hate Americans. I just think, I don't know. I, I, it's weird, right? Like there's probably like an idea in their mind. I don't know. I, it's weird to put all these people in a box. Cause I met some people that were really nice people and were willing to talk to me and really excited that I was there. And I met some people that were very clearly not happy with my presence. And I, I don't know if it was because I was American or just not like a German speaking, like, like fluently, fluently person. 
out there. I'm not sure. Does it make you sad? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was it was it was uncomfortable to deal with at times, right? Um, like you know, I think I mentioned in the previous episode there were times where it was just very clearly like I was not welcomed. Mm. Um, you know, it was the, there was that one time where we went into a restaurant and they literally put us in our own section for like tourists uh in, in, in berlin and um it's not like oh we were being loud americans or anything we were actually probably the quietest people in the whole establishment it was just that we were different and so they moved us to a different room um and they said like oh a special place <laughs> and I mean, was, it seems barbaric it might be they might actually just be like uh trying to 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 do something good or you know it, it, but it does kind of seem like I'm weird sure that was not well intent. I'm sure that was like well intentioned. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't think they were trying to be mean to me, yeah. but there were certain times like I was at a bar and, um, you know, we were sitting like up front at the bar and, um, you know, I've been speaking German all day. I, I spoke a little bit up front to these people, but then once it became apparent, they spoke English. I switched to English with them. Cause I just, I didn't want to do it anymore that day for whatever reason. I was tired and, um, they just wouldn't like, wouldn't look at me. And there were times when I was like, you know, and I get to think the service is different over there too, right? But like, you know, it was very apparent like they would treat these customers with the typical, yeah. you know, yeah. European service, right? Like it's not, hi, how are you? But, you know, it's the typical European service. And then like I would have to like hunt these people down and they would very clearly like not like look at me. Very odd. But that was not everyone, right? Like that was – there were certainly people like especially the um, managers of my hotel in Heidelberg. Um, they don't get Americans that often and they were – they bought me and my friend a drink and we talked for a while and they're really excited to have us there. And then there were people that were just normal and everything too. But I, I do think it was interesting to be in an area though where like – this is not my primary language. I'm not the primary like people here. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like mm -hmm. you're being treated slightly different because of that. Um, again, I'm not saying, Oh, you know, woe is me or anything, but like, it was just an interesting experience to have. Yeah. I, I didn't, we should go. We should go. I, I haven't been to a foreign country in a ever. Well, other than my first I mean, time. Canada, I guess, but I don't really know if it's considered foreign at this point, but I've never, I've never been outside the country. Okay, Canadians in shambles. Yeah, dude, those fucking. You're not independent. No, you get it the fuck out of your sovereign nation or something, dude. Shut up. If America disappeared today, Canada would probably still exist. What am I talking about? Hey, you got your boy Justin up there, bro. Their economy would take a hit. I feel like most people's economy would take a hit because we're just and everybody's fucking hair all the time. Well, want to start a politics podcast? <laughs> yeah. Not really. What would be the what would be the 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 bodily function for politics podcast? Shithole. That's a really good name. <laughs> we, we it would it wouldn't work obviously because of, because of the uh, we can I mean, maybe, we can make it the, like know. the brown star uh, yeah. emoji like as the as like the little yeah. I don't know if there's a brown star. What do you? I don't know either. Was that what you were thinking about? No, you, I was just shithole. Shit hole. You were thinking, you look like you were thinking so fucking hard just a second ago. <laughs> nope. I'm dumb. I have my brain empty. <laughs> um, dude, I, I hurt my back. Yeah. Sorry. Your back sucks.com. Yeah, it sucks, dude. I, uh, so I, I was, uh, Sunday, last Sunday I was uh, vacuuming the, the takis off the floor of my car because Alexis spilled some. And I was vacuuming it, and I hit it hit a certain angle. I have a bad back. I mean, you want to see my posture? It's fucking terrible. All right, so this is how I sit normally. You want to do a posture review? I think you have. A, I think you have gamer posture too, if I'm not mistaken, right? Shut up. Yeah. Uh, so this is my normal posture, right? Am I am I perfectly like the side? Yeah, you're good. You're good. All right. This is my posture. This is like how I normally sit. Often I'll I'll end up sitting like this, like very deep. Into That's good. I wish my thing could go back that far. But I mean, look at look at. I, I hope we can get it on camera. Well, like, Maybe look, Canada look, haven't messed with it. I mean, that, Whoa, hunchback of Notre Dame over yeah, there. Yeah. So. Oh look, he got arch, ladies. I got arch. Um, in the arch. Uh, I don't think I could do that with my back if I wanted to. Well, my back uh, is bad because I'm again. I I first of all, I've do you been, want me to jump on it. I have a uh, heavy brother who's very muscular. <laughs> And he has stepped on my back many a time. I I would love it would be so satisfying just for it to go like from this to this. That'd be so satisfying. But um, those um um let's talk about chiropractors for a second. 
You mean the wizards? They're not real. He's off his rocker today. He didn't take his meds. Um, I'm joking. <clears throat> Maybe. I know that you have your, your posture thing you're trying to say, but really quick. I don't know if I can trust chiropractors because I certainly have like neck in, in, in back, not like issues like you have, but like it chronic. I can, I can crack almost anything in my body at every time and I have aches and shit. Um, so I think about going to chiropractors, but I hear mixed things. Both my parents work in insurance and they constantly have these horror stories of chiropractors messing things up. But then I've also heard people say that chiropractors have saved their lives. And I, but, but also it's really satisfying to watch these videos of chiropractors, like exactly, exactly. <laughs> and, and exactly. snapping people back into place. Yep. I want someone to do that to me so bad, mm-hmm. but I feel like it might mess up my life. Yeah, I, I, I don't I, know if I can trust chiropractors or not. I thought I thought that uh, am I going to one for, this, for that issue? I was talked out of it immediately. I said bye. I'm done. I'm good. I uh, but with my back, I I I I I, I pulled it. I, I don't know if I sprained it or pulled it because it has hurt all week. Uh, it still hurts if I go to certain angles. Just holding the pose of the not even the, the full. Yeah, uh, a vacuum. I was just holding the hose of it. I just had a certain angle wrong. I got up and I immediately felt it. I couldn't. I couldn't really get up all the way. I was like, Fuck me. So I, you know, I, 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 I put the, the vacuum away, very stiff. And then I was like, "Well, I hurt my back." And they're like, "Well, we're putting up the Christmas tree." I'm like, oh, okay. And then they make me bring in at when my my back's hurt, and they all know it. They're like, all right, bring in all the, 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 the decorations from the storage shed. I'm like, okay. So I, I bring in the latest ones because they know my back's hurt. So I'm like, I'm, I'll, I'll help you guys when I'm, I'm going to bring the light ones. Walk in, put them down, whatever. And I, it, then I, I you use, if I, my brain wasn't on my back. I don't know if that was the case, if that was why, but I, as soon as I, I hadn't, I was able to like sit down and kind of relax my body, infinite pain. Infinite. Why are you lifting with your back? You know, Zach, that's a good question. I don't have an answer for that. <laughs> but you need uh, someone to teach you how to lift. You know, it's funny because my my brother is is so stupid. He's pick up, put down the person, and I. You would think that I would know based on him. No. Um. Anywho, I. Uh, so I a lot of pain. And then I, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to help with the actually putting it on the tree. I, I can't. My back. I was like, I'll, I'll hang out there, out, you know, because it's like a family thing. I'll hang out, you know, talk and shit. But I don't know if I how much I can do with my, my back hurting. That was Sunday. Monday, I wake up and I'm like, oh, I'm fine. I go to the storage shed for something different. And uh I, I get up on, the, there's like a, maybe like a four foot, uh, not four foot, like three foot drop. So I get up, I get up in the storage shed, uh, grab something, put it down. I, and I hop down off of the storage shed and I, my back hurts worse immediately. I, all my, it's just all my body weight going down. It, it hit my spine like that. I'm like, I am in a lot of pain, but it's, it's like muscular pain. It's very, it does not feel like, same. I, it does not feel like I broke You're anything. Gonna- we got to put you on that medieval torture device where they tie your, each one of your hands and legs yeah. to a thing and then pull you yeah. apart. That's, that's, at this point, I mean, I, honestly, this pain was almost worse. We got to get the worse. monkey involved. We need <laughs> the monkey. Yeah, that's true. Our, our mascot monkey, our, the I, am, I, I Monkey Ball Pro or the monkey that is on the YouTube videos of them dying? Mm. No, we don't need to go back to the. To the I'm gonna regret doing that. We're gonna get. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna blow up and get uber YouTube famous. And yeah. someone's gonna go back and be like, "This guy likes watching monkeys get tortured on YouTube. What a fucking freak!" Um. So so I jumped down on my back immediately. I'm like, oh, fuck. So I like I like very stiffly like walk inside. Like I'm I'm not even I'm barely bending my legs. I'm like walking like that, putting on clothes hurts. Uh, I'm doing I, it's putting on clothes hurts. I'm much better now, but like having to lift a shirt over and having to lift my leg up to put the end in the pants, getting moving do... the first night, <laughs> the first night after I did that jump and I heard it again, I didn't, I slept this so horribly. I was, I couldn't turn. I had to basically, I had to sit in a, in a like I was giving birth position essentially with my, my legs up. So there was no breathing st- exercises. There was no strain on my, on my back on the part of my back. So, I'm, but I'm like, I can't, I have a thing, Zach, and I, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell it to you straight. 
I have I, I have a fear of having morning wood and someone seeing it seeing it. So I, I cannot sleep on my back. Because if someone sees my f- fucking oh, just little, your little hard penis, it's it's I think it's from like sleeping over with friends and stuff. I think it's it's oh. it's, 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 it's baked in that. Um, so I can't. I, I it's I, childhood I, trauma, man. We men, men gotta open up, and it's even about it's, men gotta. Oh, listen to me. Men gotta open up about waking up at sleepovers and seeing each other's these little leaders. little talks, dude. I'm, I've it's, been. I, <laughs> I, I agree. <laughs> I, All I, right, we gotta stop this thing. We gotta stop this. Bit. I thought it was funny. I was wrong. This is not funny uh, anymore. I uh, and I also and I also need a blanket. I, I can't, that's unrelated to what I, the the back, but I also need to sleep with a blanket for the, a similar reason. I was I was laying down there. I had to be in the, 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 that position. And I was like, I am uncomfortable. I can't sleep like this. So I turn over in my back. I, I it's it takes me 50, like fifteen minutes to go ninety degrees because it's just like I have to take a break. I'm like because it just I'm in so much pain. Tuesday I feel better. I I mean I felt just progressively better, but today it was very weird. Because the pain is in my lower back, lower left side of my back. You have lower Zach pain. I have lower, I have lower Zach pain. Yes, actually. Um, uh, but today was very odd. I did something very simple. I used I I, I did lift something. Uh, I don't remember exactly what it was. I did something very simple, and my entire upper back tensed up very very hard for like a minute. And I was like, "What the fuck did I do?" And I and it, I'm fine now. I need to do stretches, Zach. I know. Don't even say it. I need to do stretches. We got to do a stretch stream. We got to do an episode where we All do right. stretches. What's we the yoga in- podcast called? I don't know. It's supposed to be podcast. We got to do. We got to do some side content or something where we get like a rip of one of those Peloton or Zumba instructors, and we sit back here and we got to like. Ooh, do the- dude, a, zo- a Zoom, a Zoom yoga class essentially but well we're workshopping this idea live (laughs) zumba what's the title of the uh um uh, ben breaks his back you know what's Uh, crazy you know zumba mind-blowing is that alexis's mom teaches zumba classes is that a win that's a win that's a win for me i could be like we Oh, you know, this, 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 this show is, is, is great. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with this at all. Yeah. But don't I, but even I, don't I, look at social play though. That's like the no, worst thing you could I, do. I, I think, I think there's some really interesting ideas of some stuff we could do next year. Like that's, I don't know if I want to do that or not, but like, 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 like the, let's just do a, a Zumba yeah. class or something. We're going to make it funny though. Everything's got to be funny. That's true. You do funny how, yoga. How do, how do you do funny yoga? How do we yoga? get funny in like a year? How how many episodes of the end do you think we're going to uh, get before one of us is canceled? The, the first one that people start watching. <laughs> that's that's, that's probably enough. it. Fair enough. Um, yeah, so I hurt my back. I wanted to bring up some of those comments. Oh, yeah, please do it. There's, there's one in particular I want to talk about, but it's a little serious. Oh, who is the go- Gorms guy? There was this guy that left a comment on our video. I got to find this. It's such so a good comment. It's banger. actually genuinely very yeah, good. This was on um, yeah, the Scott the Waz short. Scott Wozniak, <laughs> host of Come <laughs> Quick. Uh, great, great, great short. You guys would great love guy. it. Great guy. I like Scott the Waz a lot. Yeah, yeah. We're sorry, by the way. That literally titled the video "Sorry, Scott the Waz" because I feel bad about ripping on such a nice guy. But this guy on, on, on YouTube queen. shorts. That's still so funny. Come, like Scott is such a. I don't know if you you've watched like Scott the Waz. I actually content. didn't know who he was when I made the joke. I just Ethan said Ethan said um, Sean Evans, Scott Evans, and I was thinking of. Um, the guy who's Apple, the other right? Wozniak, the guy who Apple, the guy from Apple that invented I don't the computer. What his name was, yeah. I did a whole report on him. And now his name is escaping me. Is it Fuck. Steve? It's not Steve. Is it? Oh, now I got to look up Wozniak. It is Steve Wozniak. God damn it! I thought that, I thought Steve sounded right, but I was like, "There's no way that has to be Jobs." Um, okay, but the guy left the comment. Probably the weirdest child-minded gorms I've scrolled past on these shorts. Well done. And then I tried to call him um, like like 
I try to be like, I don't know if this is an insult or a compliment, but like you're well done. You know what I mean? Like that, that's a great comment, but I keep thinking about it. I love the word Gorms. It's a good I've never word. heard this word before. I got to start using where does Gorms. It, where does it originate? Have we found out? I don't know. I got to Google. Is it even a real word? Gorms. Let's see. Gorm definition in meeting. Um, a variant of Guam. Dude, we're a country. That's crazy. Or a territory. I don't Shut, know what Guam uh, is. Hold on. I got to look up. Gorm is an Irish word meaning blue. I don't fucking know, dude. Oh, Gorm or Urban Dictionary. This might give us some help. Relating to the word Gormless, meaning someone who has no concept of what they're doing. That's probably it. That's probably it. Gormless means brainless. Yeah. Oh, I said I want to start calling our fans Gorms. Yeah, Gorms is like very good. I love that term. You fucking little Gorm. But then I want to get serious. Okay, so let's come with me. Come with me. We're ha-haing. We're ha-haing, right? Mm-hmm. Chuckling from the gut. Come on up. Gut. We're mouth. being funny. Mm-hmm. We're definitely being funny. We posted this funny video on the internet. And I meant to bring this up a couple episodes ago, but it's escaped me. We, we, we start being funny on the internet. Ha-ha. Everyone's laughing. Ha-ha. Why are you, why are you, you know, it was so, so good. Yeah, yeah you're, you're good. I was going to be mad at you, but now actually you're right. You're laughing. That's what we do. This guy comments and says, this video makes me want to drive in the traffic. Yep. Yeah, yeah. What is that? Is that? So uh, I know your take, Ben, but just you as an audience at that point, with no further context, is that a joke about how bad the video is? Or is that a real threat? You know what I mean? Answer know, now, is, like, is, Dora, is, like Dora, answer now. Yeah, yeah, like, like, like I, I, I'm, I'm setting this up. And I'm being genuine here. Is that to you? So I post a funny video and someone comments, this video makes me want to drive into traffic. Is that a funny joke about how bad my video is or is that a threat for your own life? That is a serious threat. I reply back mission accomplished because people roasting us Mm -hmm. in YouTube comments is funny. It is. It's genuinely is. We make mindless content. I'm not sitting here trying to be like, Oh, we're changing the world or anything like that. (laughs) Dude, regurgitated is taking (laughs) over, bro. We're changing the entire algorithm. you know, I I think I think in the future there's some cool things we could do that maybe are a bit bigger than being just silly goofballs. But in general, like this is just not like this is nothing. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like this, where this is not like make fun of me online. That's mm-hmm. that's perfectly fine. I'm dragging this on really long. This guy replies back. You have the screenshots of it somewhere. I apologize. I don't have the specific um, wording in front of me. We'll, we'll we'll find this. But he essentially replies back. You're gonna regret saying that I could really do that. And creators struggle with comments like these because you never know if I could really do it. Okay. Too deep, bro. I should have just left it alone at that point, but it's very clearly baiting me. You're, you're, you're making fun of me on the internet. And I just, I don't even really roast the guy back. I just mission accomplished in terms of like, Oh yeah, the video was meant to like drive you insane. Yeah. This Gorm. He's this not a gorm. Fan. He's not a Gorm. He's not a Gorm. This guy wishes he was a Gorm. He's below truly, a Gorm. Truly. Okay. Yeah, you're this right. You're below right. Go- he's, he's Gormless. Gorm- he's Gorm in the colloquial sense. I he's, don't know he's, what colloquially, that. he's colloquially Gormish. He's, 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 he's a, colloquially Gormish. He's a Gormish right? guy in colloquial terms. Yeah. He's colloquially a Gormish guy. Yeah. I reply back again and I'm like, look. My heart goes out to you. I say this. I really do say this to this guy. My heart goes out to you if you're going through something. But baiting people on YouTube is not like the YouTube shorts comment yeah. section is not yeah. helpful. Yeah. Go um, go get help. Yeah. And then he opens his whole thing up with like, I don't know why I button this again. He opens his whole thing up with like, Oh, so you need to learn to take criticisms on the internet. Get used to it, bud, or something. And it's just like, it, it, I still might be like actually going to do this or something. So you're telling me I should go unalive myself or something? And it's like, bro, this is the only guy I've ever blocked from our comment section because it's so very clearly 
baiting, isn't it? Yeah, I know it is. It is. Like, like if you, if you, if you, if you look, if, if you come to YouTube Shorts for whatever reason to, to to ask for help, or any YouTube comment section to ask for help, I don't think that's the most appropriate place to do it. But I'll take it seriously. I know that I goof off a lot, but I'll take it seriously. This video makes me want to drive into traffic. Has no like cries. I mean, I, I get it. The premise is self deprecating, right? Like, I get where he's coming from. Like, oh, I'm joking about doing something like that. Yeah. But the but the comment so clearly was intended to put us down about why our video was bad, which I was fine with. Mm-hmm. Never once did I ever say no. like this video was actually amazing. No, but you need to learn how to take fucking criticism, Zach. You need to. Do you need to? Like, uh, yeah, I probably do. Get it through I your fucking do, head, dude. You. He said that your video was bad, and you're mad, right? You're pissed. Zach, that he said that. So you said mission I can't accomplished, period. You can't handle it. What the fuck are you doing, dude? You can't get so mad in the comments, mission accomplished, but, period. But this 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 guy in particular, you know, he had three different points. It was, um, your video is bad and you can't handle criticism. True. It was, I need help. Uh, Probably true. If he's going to be, like, I, need, I, need, I need, it was, if it was he's I in need the, help. Take me seriously. I want to kill myself. If he's in the YouTube comment section saying that he probably needs help. If not in that way, in another way, but go ahead. But it, it was, so, so either, either I, I, I want to reset this. I'm sorry. It was either his, the comment was a joke. He was telling me the video was, he was, he was genuinely giving me criticism on the internet or it's a genuine cry for help. It can't be all three. Yeah. I agree the, with you. It, I just, how are you expecting me to reply to that? Yeah. You know, and there was a moment where I was like, should I apologize for this? Should I hide behind this or something? But no, I, it's very clearly like wh- where the intentions were and all of this. You were getting right? baited or you were something. He was something no, I wish I was getting. I wish I was <laughs> getting baited. Um, but just don't be a don't be a don't be a, you know. I don't even want to say you don't use common sense on the Internet because like. Honestly, who cares? Like, I don't care yeah. if you don't have like, yeah. be like the YouTube comments are the most brain dead. Yeah, part we get of the we internet. get such mean comments for the most. I think like, it's funny. Well, the Do thing, it. be mean to me, be brain dead, but don't like intentionally like start accusing people of random things. Yeah. Uh, well, the, the thing the thing about a, the YouTube specifically shorts comment section is it's like. Uh, it is the lowest common den- denominator of people commenting. I but mean, think if, about the if, dumbest person you know. If you're hating on um, somebody, if you're hating on yeah. somebody for just we for I mean we what we do is so genu- generally generally I mean we don't we rarely clip something that isn't benign, but we're, generally what we clip is pretty fucking benign. It's just us inside jokes, me talking about my shit. If you're in the comment section <laughs> giving us <laughs> shit, I mean. That's the lowest common denominator person in my mind. I have no, I have no, and if, it, it well, impacts if, me if they, none. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, if you wanted to offer valid criticism on something that's, I'm open to it. But yeah. like, for the most part, people on YouTube comments are like, this sucks. And I'm like, yeah. probably, yeah. Like, it probably yeah. does. I'm I, I, I'm not, I and that's not even me saying I disagree with what most of these people are saying. I I, I want to make no. that very clear. I, I don't, I think... Uh, this show sucks too, but it, I mean, it's, it's, it's just, <laughs> no, I'm not, no, I'm no, not the no. one, I'm not the one in that YouTube short saying it. I mean, I actually, I, I'm sure I have in a, in a YouTube short comment section. But, but some of the YouTube short stuff is really weird to me because there are some times when we're saying something uh, controversial, since I'm controversial, a little controversy, a little controversy, never heard anyone. We're a little bit of controversial like guys. Like the Scott the Waz video where we talk yeah. about coming yep. on scott the waz's face yeah and like i get shot. it if you're a fan of scott the waz and you come across that it's like whoa back in the day we made that roseanne Barr video trump is the first woman president of the united states mm-hmm. and we still to this day Getting get comments, comments being yeah. like i love roseanne fuck these guys yeah. i love trump all mm-hmm. this stuff it was very incendiary and we well, honestly we didn't even really say anything that much it was just did you see this crazy take roseanne had and us reacting to the crazy take Roseanne had, yeah, and we, not really we didn't even give much a, more insight yeah, yeah. into that. Um, but but th- that makes sense to me, right? Like that's a topic that people are really like about. But then we uploaded like a week ago that clip of Ethan going, "You're trying to tell me how to do the Tubsy Loosey Goose." You're trying to tell Grumps how how he should do the old Tubsy Loosey Goose. Yes. And it just started off with nothing but dislikes. Yeah. And it's like, I can't imagine, I can't think of me scrolling through and just seeing that or anything that that's, 
that benign or silly or whatever and going, I got to dislike this. And it's not even me complaining about getting dislikes. I just, I don't even like stuff. I don't like or just like, yeah. if I engage with a piece of content on YouTube, it's because it makes me feel strongly about it, yeah. whether it's I love it or hate it or whatever. And I just don't, I just don't get I, something I, I silly like, me, uh, making me go out of my way to like or dislike something in general. I like regurgitated content and I like my friend's content. And that's it. Oh, uh, that's a hot take. Like that's a hot own. take right there. You only, you only consume our, our content Physic- in this. Sorry. Uh, 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 like not as in enjoy, oh. like as in <laughs> it, hit the like button. You know what's funny about that? I mm. went because I knew that you sprung. The, the, there was the joke of you springing Twitter likes on me. I went to your Twitter to check to see if I could spring some Twitter likes on you, and it was all just me. Yeah. <laughs> it was all just me. <laughs> I felt really yeah, bad yeah. for a second. Yeah. Well, uh, it was actually um. And something Twitter related I wanted to talk about actually. I don't remember what it was. I've kind of abandoned Twitter. Uh I read it a lot, but I don't I I barely tweet. I mostly interact with you with you because you're the most you're the, I mean you're my friend that interacts the most on it. Um Well, I'm but, probably the funniest guy on Twitter. You know, the, the second second only to Blonde Mulaney. Um but uh yeah, I mean, I, I, the, 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 you're going to be at the top of my my shit. I, I'm, I'm about ready to. I, I was ready to actually, and I just didn't do it. Make uh, buy Twitter verification, get Twitter blue, <laughs> uh, buy Twitter verification, and make my name Elon Musk and, and get banned. I was about to do that, so I couldn't come back for it because of ban evasion or whatever. That was that was my goal, and then I was just going to like get away from the platform. Because it is the biggest. Is it? Is it? Is it? And not to get make this go super political. Is it anything to do with the Elon stuff or now? I don't. I, well, it was at the time. It, it's just a lot of a lot of uh, changey stuff and a lot of like, you, you know. I don't. I. I, it, I, I part, part of me doesn't want to support a platform that is just so like, free, dude. Free speech. Free. Everybody has. Everybody. Comedy's. What does he say? Comedy's legal. Comedy's legal now. Free speech, guys. Elon Musk as the name, uh, fake verification is easily verifiable. That is not the right person. Go, you're suspended. And then he's suspended journalists that were criticizing him and were posting pictures with Ghislaine Maxwell. Ah, oh, dude, it's so stupid. It's just like uh, I want to get out of here. I um, I, I I I'm I'm starting to come around to the hating Elon Musk thing, which I know like for some people it's very much like, why are you not already hating Elon Musk? I, I kind of do now. But like when he first bought Twitter, I thought he was a little overhated. Yeah, some of the stuff he was doing was very like not cool, right? Like it was very clear on the surface. He was like weird on the on some like LGBT stuff mm-hmm. and was very kind of alt righty. And like certainly that's not my camp. But in general, he made some d- decent products, right? Like 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 really interesting stuff. And I think he's done some good for like renewable energy and stuff like that, right? Like. Mm-hmm. Um, when, dude, you know, like in I, 2016, everybody was sucking his cock. Well, I mean, like, and there's still people online that do. But I guess what I'm trying to say is, like, my view on him was more neutral at the start of the year. Where, like, yeah, he has some shit opinions and he's a billionaire. So he's probably done some fuck stuff like any other billionaire. But he's had his contributions, too. In the same way I view, like... um I'm not going to make the comparison. I was going to make the comparison to Bill Gates, but that's not true. Uh, I view Elon Musk worse than Bill Gates yeah. at this point, even though Bill Gates... Probably the same Epstein list. Yeah. Um, but you get you get the picture, right? Like I was like, he's over hated on Twitter, but over loved in like this other weird niche community. And then he bought Twitter. And then he, the, the whole free speech thing was a little eye rolly, but whatever. You I was know what excited. I, mean? I was genuinely excited. If he was just gonna be like no, nah, nobody's banned other than bots. I was hype, but then then he immediately went back on that as soon as well, he was yeah. personally offended. <laughs> well, and, and then he started doing weird stuff. The whole Twitter verification thing. I get you need to make money, and, and you know what? I, you know, I, there's there's also like the whole like Twitter verification was broken anyways, right? Where mm-hmm. like it was really hard for people to get verification, and people were doing things like botting Spotify accounts. They would be like chefs or whatever that wanted to get verified, and then hire a PR firm to like create a Spotify account for them, post remixes, and then get published and use that as to verify their Twitter account yeah. and st- stuff like that. 
Um, so it, it was broken. So if you wanted to come in and say, hey, we're going to rework verification, that's fine. You want to come around and say, Twitter needs a ton of profit. We're introducing Twitter Blue. It comes with all these extra features. That's fine. But just to like blanket give randos verification, I, just, I so don't, don't understand why that's a good idea. And then like, again, politics of everything aside, he came in and he said, we're going to have teams of content reviewers to review what accounts get banned and what's not. That has become very clear. He's just banning accounts that he doesn't like. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's not even like, you know, that's a whole other political box to open at that point too. But there are certain accounts, whether it be journalists that call them out, the guy who did the um, plane tracking thing Mm -hmm. for his private jet just got banned. And you, you, you can make the argument that like, Oh, that is, um, that is um, like a violation of his privacy rights or anything, but no other account that does that for other celebrities has been banned. And, and, and it seemed to be, um, pretty quickly after, um, he, he tweeted about them again. He's, you know what I mean? The thing about he, it, he, he, he removed Twitter spaces last night. Did you see this? Yep. He, he joined, he joined a Twitter spaces thing. Apparently it was a really bizarre interaction. Twitter spaces got removed and now it's back up again. But like that to me doesn't seem like a decision that a group of people made. Oh, Twitter spaces isn't working as a <laughs> business had, concept. The un- users aren't using the feature. Yeah. Literally, yeah. I, I mean, at first I was like, oh, he's going to create these teams of people that are going to review all the content. We, we probably need that. We probably do. Yeah. And, and then it was like that for a while. But then again, the, the Twitter Spaces thing was really weird to me because, like, there was no indication that Twitter Spaces was not working, right? No indication that it was a bad feature. He has one bad night on the platform where he gets called out on some stuff. It gets removed. And now it's back again after everyone cried about it. Yeah. But that to me doesn't scream, oh, we made an educated decision about this feature. It more to me points like, I just don't like this feature. Take it off. Yeah. Again, it's, that's exactly what it is. Um, I don't know if that's exactly what it is or not, but it smells very fishy. And I'm and I'm beginning to my neutral opinion as to like he's probably a shitty person, but he's done some good things is leaning more towards. All right. I kind of fucking hate this guy. Yeah. Yeah. I see you're you're getting it. I don't I had no. Oh, intense hatred for Elon Musk. I just thought he was cringe. Uh, and now, now that he's, oh, he's always been a little cringe. He's, he's always, fucking with my social media, bro. He's fucking with my social media. Now what I'm specifically pissed. about your social media feed is worse now on Twitter, but mine. Yeah. What, what, what specifically on like a day to day? Well, so for me, to me, like it's like annoying to see people be this passionate about stuff that in general doesn't matter that much to me. Um, I just don't like hearing his people. fucking name. If we're being honest, he's on like half the tweets. I like him being shit on, but it's like every day there's something new oh, that yeah. he's being shit no, on no, for. No, like that, 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 that's fucky for me too, but like Twitter as a platform is still the same. Yeah, it's the same Twitter. experience. Usually, I, and I like, love Twitter. It's my favorite social media platform. I love Twitter. I feel like so, social media. I agree. I, I I agree, and I don't like I I don't like the fact that I agree. Um, but I this I think that social media is a little bit more draining than I want to engage in. I don't. I haven't. I have an Instagram, but it's just to look at hot pictures of my girlfriend um, that she posts on her story and on her and on her feet. I literally only follow her. I have. I have. Uh, I, I used it in like 2014, 2015, 2016. And then in 2019, I was like, I don't use this anymore. I literally, I just, when I get the notification that Alexis posted, Alexis added to her story, that's when I click. So I was like, I'm just going to unfollow everybody. I'm going to private my account and I'm just going to click on her story. That's at this point, that's all I do. I, it's so very like, commendable. It's, it's, I, I feel like I, I really, I really like um, celebrities and content creators that are very limited in their social media. Uh, activity because it makes it feel like special Special. yep exactly. right like like, like, like it, it, it offers some intrigue and some mystery however i feel like at the level of like whatever you want to call this content creation sphere that i'm at it's more beneficial to do the opposite you know what oh, i mean for like, sure for i feel sure. like there's like get, put get, yourself out get there, as much out there as then, you can. yeah so i go back and forth between those ideas yeah i i'm, um, I'm personally there's, though there's a, there's a there's a there's a future where uh you know i'm 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 twitter spamming right now and trying to get stuff to make this work and then like five years from now you'll only hear from me on the regurgitated official posts that's, and then that's exactly that's what i was all you say. hear from me personally not now, though not now but that's yeah. like a future future like if and stuff is really going popping off like i would delete other stuff i would i would i would if 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 regurgitated if this episode of regurgitated was getting even 
<clears throat> 10,000 views, I would give up my Ben M. Pack Twitter. I would either either disable Make it. Make that a goal? Sure. <laughs> Should, when, we make that a, when should, we, we get, should we make that a goal? <laughs> when we get 10,000 viewers every episode within the first like week that it's out, I will delete my Twitter and I will only tweet off of the regurgitated podcast Twitter. <laughs> hey, you just start liking your girlfriend's <laughs> tweets. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, but um, the, I, the thing is, she just she barely uses Twitter. That's an interesting that's so, an interesting goal to, to bring to people. That's something people can progress on. If you want to like, you know, hey, we hit 100 subscribers. Hey. You know what I yeah, mean? By yeah. the way, as a reminder, yeah. if we get 10K views, you know, per episode, if we get to that point, his well, Twitter, Twitter, he Twitter, will delete his Twitter. Well, everybody gives a shit that my Twitter is going to be deleted. Everybody cares. I give a shit. Um, but my... You're my the, friend. The only thing that was holding me on Instagram doesn't really exist on Twitter. So there's that. Um, and as, as well as uh, my t- Twitter feed is di- on, a, on, a, on a general basis pretty boring. I don't really give that much of a fuck about that's any where of it. I get most of. I don't know if it's where I get most of my jokes from, but I I, I laugh. Oh, at Twitter I get too much. I get funny shit on Twitter all the time, right? I, I I'm not, I'm not going to deny that, but I'm I'm. It's kind of like I, I there will be there will be pictures. I very rarely it's very rarely happens, but if I if it, there are often not often sometimes pictures that make me laugh out loud on Twitter. That is not common for me. I don't know. I, I, I'm at most it's like a Twitter. Twitter is like the wild west of social yeah. media platforms to me. I'll find the wildest shit on Twitter yeah. and I love it. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I, I, I like that shit too. Uh, but like, I, I pretty much gave up on Snapchat. Same story. Like I, I only use Snapchat for my memories to see what happened to three years ago, five years ago, whatever. Um, the only social media that I really use, if you don't consider discord a social media, because it's not really social. I'm in a circle, uh, is Twitter. And uh, I feel like social media is kind of a little bit draining sometimes. Um, I feel like when sad, sad shit happens and I feel like when good shit happens, there's always someone on the other side, you know, it, it making you feel like you have the wrong opinion or making you rethink things in a, in a, in a, in a, in a thought provoking way, but it's also a much more depressing way. I, I don't know. I, I'm, I, 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 I'll read something like on a, like a, like someone excited about a thing and then there would just be a bunch of people saying, well, you can't do that because of this stupid. And it just, it, it's draining. It's draining I to have how, so I, many I, person. Yeah. I, I hate how people get in their own spheres yeah. on things. You know what I mean? And that, that's a very kind of alt righty thing to say, but like genuinely, like I'll find these pockets of people on Twitter that all vehemently agree with each other. And it's very clear that like their their feed is just these people they yeah. don't see this other thing yeah i made a i made like a kind of throwaway twitter account a few years ago that like i don't even know how to log into now if i even wanted to but it was such an eye-opening thing for me because i was just getting like a ton of shit that i just never saw before um you know what i mean like i, I just all of a sudden it was like a lot of like just just political content that i don't agree with at all just yeah. immediately on my front page and i was like whoa I don't. I don't see this on my Twitter feed at all. Did you ever? Um, did you ever see the video of you? Don't remember Kick Messenger? I mean, I I used it. For, I remember Kick Messenger. I yeah. used it much longer than I probably should have. Uh, that was where. So, uh, just as a little background, the Discord that I'm that that I, you recently been invited to has gone through a few phases of what it was. At one point, it was Kick for text, uh, and Teamspeak three for voice. That's kind of how we separated it. And I, before that, it was Steam. You use Steam voice chat and all that stuff. So Discord is now kind of just the better version of all of that. Discord um, really kind of... People don't... I think Discord might be the biggest like dis- disruptor towards social media it's been recently. Because it kind of took what people like about social media and found this weird niche of people that it can kind of cater to. And it's really built this unique yep. experience you can't find anywhere else unless you're using Slack for work. Yeah. Um, it's it's super, that's, that's really it's a, super fucking overpowered. But the reason I brought up Kick, Kick uh, is terrifying. And it's, and it's, I don't even like, there's like your reality and then there's things that happen outside of your reality that you can't even fucking comprehend. Kick is that thing that I can't fucking comprehend. You can join. There's, I don't know if that's a thing anymore, but there were group chats that you could join. And it's like what WhatsApp is now. Yeah. 
so there are group chats that you can join. And it, immediate, like you could say, like I, I saw a video. I don't remember who even did it, but they were they, they said they were thir- they, they made their bio that they were a 13 year old girl. Mm-hmm. Immediate messages, immediate like pornographic dick pics and stuff like that. That's like I can't even comprehend that happening. It, but there's no person in my life that could that would do that. And there are so many people messaging this this supposed 13 year old girl on, on this app that I f- consider dead. It just blows my fucking mind. It truly just blows my mind. That you know. what were you doing in this circle, Benjamin? Please, uh, you are under. <laughs> uh, there was this. There was this thirteen-year-old um, that I found very attractive. I, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> what's the? What's the? Was it just about a Google? What? I was just about to Google something, and I forgot what it was. It was. Such oh, a that's the worst. My face when I was just about to Google something, but then I forgot. Holy shit, I I did. He did. I forgot. Fuck me, dude. Benjamin, Benjamin, I know I brought it up multiple points of this episode. I'm excited for what we're going to do in 2023. 2023 is going to be the year of regurgitating. I honestly, I think so. I think, I think we got a lot of like testing and figuring shit out this year. And this, or certainly there's still a lot more to go, but, um, I, 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 I think I'm pretty excited to record this January six episode because it's going to be the first one of the year. I feel like I feel like stuff's building. You get that I, feeling? I like stuff's how building. you said that and you didn't even make like a comment or like a joke about it. Because it just no. it, it was so off the cuff that the because we know that we're recording January sixth, but the viewer just hears you say January sixth. This 6th. is probably coming out on January sixth. Oh no! no. No, this this episode is coming out either next Friday or the Friday after. But we're recording the next episode <laughs> oh. on January sixth. Oh no! The, the, the Did I just of leak the our own information? Yeah. Did I just leak inside information? Did you I want, just leak our own? You want to know my? You want to know my uh, social security number? Yeah. I, I don't remember what I was going to Google, and it's really bothering me. I want to do like a segment where we do like a fake leak production meeting between us, and it's just like the most vile shit you've ever heard. I want like the news graphic of like a picture of your face and then the like transcript getting like written out with like the news banner. Yeah. Like, uh, like, uh, pregnant with twins. Yeah. Yeah. We, 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 we workshop ideas, pregnant with twins. Um, what can we, what can we make off of pregnant with twins? Like, kind uh, of content I, I, can we I, make? like I, I personally really want to be pissed on by a woman who's pregnant with twins. But if it's it's a single, I I am disgusted. (laughs) Oh, it's funny because if it was uh, uh, for me personally, Ben, uh, Mm -hmm. from the Regurgitated podcast, if we're making content with a lady pregnant with uh, triplets or twins, pregnant with twins, I would stomp and jump on her stomach like a Goomba. So what happens when one of the kids are are stillborn? Does, Does that still count as if I get pissed on? Does it still count as I'm attracted to it? Yeah, is it is it that's a good title. Is it pedophilia if you get <laughs> is it pedophilia if what if no, you get birthed it. on if you get birthed on? All right, and that's the news segment that gets leaked. That's the leaked news segment <laughs> about our <laughs> leaked production meeting call. Uh dude. Uh, yeah, I what would be really like like some like uh Papa John type shit. Where we say some just some fucked shit and it's like, but obviously it's an act, but we just say some fucked shit and we like leak the call. You know what I mean? Yeah, we gotta that, 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 that'd be like really good promo material. If we ever do like a really big project or something, like something that like we're, we want to tease in the future, we should just quote unquote leak our own stuff. And we gotta, yeah, we gotta like make it just a, a brand YouTube channel that like looks like it could just be anybody. It's just like a the profile pictures filled out with yeah. some like sports or something like that and it's just like a 480p video we gotta of like create a, the account look. now yeah exactly and then we gotta exactly. we gotta like post some like random handheld footage of like the woods or, or some like, shit or, or like or like a or like a like a, a screen recorded like youtube video but then the sides aren't cut off so there's like just big black bars on each end you know yeah, what I'm talking about? yeah 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 and then we'll just randomly post one day like leaked production meeting yeah regurgitated and you know 
We'll start it off like now. We're like, I want to jump on pregnant women's stomachs or whatever for like 10 minutes. And then at the end, we'll go like, and so uh, what about that uh, feature length film that we're dropping on November 10th? It, yeah. And we actually do drop the, it. Yeah. What about the, yeah, well, yeah, exactly. It's like, what about the, what about the tour we're announcing on uh, October ooh, 8th or something? Ooh, ooh that's, that's actually then, really then, smart. And then the thing cuts and then we don't say anything until that day. And then it happens. Ooh. That's some underground mar- that's, marketing that's brain. Really marketing good. Brain. That's really good. Nobody's gonna find that YouTube it's channel. Sh- though. That's the unfortunate part. Well, you have to tag it properly, and then you know, or, there's, there's ways ooh. you could get other accounts to like it. Maybe our official account would like it, and you would just see it in our likes. Yeah, or the um, you know how like on famous YouTubers, it happens less now. I think uh, on famous YouTubers, things it'll they'll make like an account that's like. Donkey, for example, like video game donkey dot video game donkey, and then they'll reply to somebody and be like, "You just want a free iPhone," and it's just a bot with like a fake link that brings you to the yeah, virus yeah. website or something. We got to do that. We got to make a fake bot yeah. that replies to yes, people, yes. and people just think it's a bot until they click hey, on it. Watch and it's my video, real. sub for sub. Yeah, I, I like I like the idea of these doing these big like marketing stunts for stuff. I, I don't know why. Maybe th- this just. I don't know. I, I, this is the part of my brain that goes crazy with this stuff and why I've spent some of my previous jobs in marketing. I just like big stunts like that. You know what I mean? Um, the, 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 I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a death grips fan. Um, kill me. I don't sue me, whatever you want to say, but for their last album rollout, they just tweeted, um, death grips is online. They're a very cryptic band, by the way, they don't do any interviews, like not a whole lot of information is like known about them. They're, they're like a, another project that, when I was talking earlier about content creators that don't like post a whole lot and it's like mysterious mm. what's going on behind mm. the scenes. It creates some intrigue. They're one of them. They just tweeted death groups is online and then they would retweet anyone else that tweeted that. And so it became this big loop where if you tweeted death groups is online, you would get retweeted by them. And so then that created everyone went to go post on Twitter. Death That's groups is online because so they knew cool. they get retweeted and they got to the top of trending by creating this loop of like, and then every one of those comments would say death groups is online. And then they would retweet those. And it was like mm. thousands of people every day, That's like rad. boosting them to That's the top really of, cool. of, of Twitter. And I think that was just the, and then they, they dropped their first single, which was called death groups is online. That was the name of the song too. Ooh. So then it boosted all the search results for that song too. Um, and it got, it got pushed th- uh, that That's way. Incredible um, smart marketing. Yeah. But then like the, um, the cards against humanity holiday hole that I told you about mm-hmm. where this big live stream where they just dug a hole in the woods or desert or something. And the more you donated it, dug a hole. I don't know. I just like big brain. Yeah. It's not even like big brain, but like, I like really, you do, you can run paid ads or whatever, but I, I like stuff that kind of like it catches like, you off another guard. Level. Yeah. I, I, the, yeah. What, There's a meta game to it all. So there, that remind it's different. It's the same. It's for overwatch. Do you, do you remember the Sombra ARG? No, I like ARGs though. When when stuff drops with ARGs, it's very fun. Death Grips did one. Halo Two did one. Dude. That we love bees or whatever. Yeah. So, well, Overwatch did it uh, with when Sombra was about to be announced, which was just like the hacker lady or whatever. So it was like a kind yeah, of like yeah. a cool little tie-in. But like there were like certain things you had to look at, and there were like certain riddles that that were around that led to her. I think her name or something like that. I don't remember exactly what it was. Like 2017, I think. Um, but it was really cool and everybody was kind of like the whole like Overwatch subreddit was on top of it and like breaking it down and trying to figure it out. And they did it, they figured it out right, and Sombra was released. And then Sombra was like the worst character of the game. So <laughs> um, but yeah, I that shit is fucking phenomenal. Regurgitated ARG. Ooh. I wanna get like I wanna you know, you ever take a road trip through the country well maybe less so on the east coast but like certainly out here you're going on a road trip and you'll drive for like two hours and there'll be nothing yeah and then you'll drive by like a restaurant and then like two hours of nothing and you're like how the fuck do they stay in business yeah i know i've always been intrigued by that but in the regurgitated arg i want to like buy or rent out like a random shop or something on the side of like a desert road somewhere it's like real creepy looking right and hire an employee for the time to just stand there and like play the character, right? Almost like a haunted house. And then it, 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 somehow in the ARG, that address would get leaked. Someone would have to go there mm-hmm. 
like at night or something to this really creepy place in the middle of the desert and go in and talk to this dude playing a character who then like does something to unlock something else. Oh, and then like they open a room and it's an escape room. If you can get out of the escape room without dying. Yeah, but like, yeah, but like again, in I, ideally in this scenario, you pull off to the side of the road and there's just a random looking like building after an hour or two in the desert with like no, lights or anything and you walk in and there's just one dude and you don't know if it's really a part of the game or not but you just keep going along with it what do we name the guy in the front of the building don d-o-n or don. d-a-w-n <laughs> either either like donald either, depending. Or like, we're not we're not we're not discriminatory right. um company like, we can hire a, a d-a-w-n or a d-o-n whichever yeah. comes first Right, that's true. You're Don. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy that you said that, Zach, because I I agree. <laughs> you hate um, women. I by five. Bro fist. Um. Okay, so uh, I want to eat. Uh, so let's watch TikToks. Let's 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 watch TikToks. Although I forgot to uh, to bring up one more time. I I have news too, technically, okay. and Which one do you um, want to I pissed off the pissed off the spider community too. That's you a did. different story. Oh, bring that up. Bring that. Say that first. I, I, I want to hear about this. Well, this is. I should have brought this up with the comments, but I, 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 I uploaded the video finally of of me saying I wish spiders would die. Spiders get a bad reputation, sure, but they deserve it. I'm not afraid of them. I just wish they die. Um, uh, I'm not afraid of them, but I wish they die. I didn't know how many fucking people loved spiders on the internet. I'm sorry. Yep. People, I'm, oh, sorry that, that, I said, I hate, a, I'm sorry I said I hate. I'm sorry I said I I I like spiders. I just wish they'd die. Get out! Get out of my house! Get out of my house! I know they're what important I hear. for the environment. I know they're important for the environment. I know blah 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 blah. I was a, I, I I took I was a microbiology major before I dropped out of college. I know why spiders are important. I just don't want them near me. Or yeah, get them away. But then I thought I got to come up. I was talking to my other friend Ben about this, who coincidentally. I only realized also has a girlfriend named Alexis. What <laughs> so the fuck? I really weird singularity there. I now am friends with two Ben's that both have girlfriends named Alexis. That's um, very odd. Yeah. But I was talking to him about this and I don't want to steal anyone's idea. So a shout out Ben, but also he gave me this idea. I got to make a video where I, where I do a YouTube short where I piss off people that like bees because bees are very important. Oh, I got to make like a little one minute rant. I don't have anything prepared. I'll oh. be honest with you. I'm a lazy motherfucker. I don't have anything funny to be prepared about bees with. But if I come back and I do a bee rant, just know big brain in it. Play TikToks. Do you see this? Yeah, yeah. You're blurry, dude. My friend's blurry. That's blur, Steve. What the fuck? I don't mind him. No, my hand. That's a blur, Ben. Yeah, he'd be doing that sometimes. Don't worry about him. There we go. Hey, guys. Oh, there we got a little smudge on ben it. Go. We got a little smudge. Oh, this is a professional setup. Oh, not, no, so much more smudge. Oh, God damn it. How's everyone doing tonight? <laughs> Kiss your mom recently? Wait, what the fuck? Why did you say? Why did you ask me if I kissed my mom? Recently? Question though: Do you want to do TikToks before news or news before TikToks, little man? You know what? I was gonna say TikToks before news, but you changed my mind. All right, let's keep the energy up because I right. started this off very low energy. I'll be honest with you; I was having a pretty I, I, my my brain's been not working that well recently. I've been very low energy, which is why I'm excited to get a fresh start on some stuff because this, mm-hmm. this just week's been fucky with me. So I'm sorry for the my slower start earlier, but now I got my energy. I got my energy. Talking everyone, to your boy. Everyone, Talking if to your you're boy. at this point, if you're at this point, if you're at this point in the video, first of all, I love you. That's that's first. First of all, if you watch this one, it's a regurgitated full video at any point, whether this is uh, when it uploads or five years from now, I love you. Really, I do. You so you love everybody that's watched. Yeah, and 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 I I I I I need your energy right now. I want everyone that's watching this. If you're at this point, I uh, Zachary uh, Marshall of the Regurgitated Podcast cool. needs your energy. Everyone, everyone, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do a scream. All right, we're gonna get my energy up. I don't care if it's two a.m. I don't care if your mom's asleep. We're gonna need a. I I I I I I I I I I I there you go. I, I hope it. you did that. I did that. Because if I just sounded like a like a <laughs> gorm, 
don't want to sound like for a gorm. For no reason. Especially you don't in a colloquial want to sound like a term, gorm. You do not want to sound like a gorm. You don't want to sound like a colloquial gorm. No. You want to no. sound like a regurgitated gorm. Exactly There's a right. difference. There's a complete difference. Anyways. Oh, welcome to the news. This week's news is outdated because I wrote it uh, a week ago and I uh, forgot about it. Um, this week's news is brought to you by Gorms. Gorms, they're gormless. Um, <laughs> oh my NBC- god, what the fuck? Wait, hold on. Do that, do that, do that again. <laughs> yucky, yucky. Yucky. Ben, what are we doing? These guys, these guys clicked on this video and they came to watch news. We're not doing any news. We the click through rate, the click through rate on this. We're 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 messing this up. We're we're not. We gotta. Wait, let's restart. I, ch- I, I like got re- all the energy. No, 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 no. This is the news. This is the news. We're okay. doing it live. Okay. This is a live news broadcast. If you're watching this on YouTube, this is live. This is live news. It's live news. Yeah, I mean, it we're is, doing live news. It is. Li- I mean, it is. You are live. I'm live. You I'm a li- live. You are a live. Yeah, you are live. Yeah. But the thing is, so, wait, but can you? Uh, what? So, what you should do for the clicks uh, is you should. I gotta do something for clicks. Yeah, you should like pog or something. There it is. <laughs> okay, now cut. <laughs> <laughs> NBC is reporting a twenty-year-old Wisconsin man. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm really. Oh, wait, 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 go uh, back, go back. I got, I got the energy. I got the energy for the. <laughs> NBC is reporting a 20-year-old Wisconsin man was accused of engaging in lewd behavior in a library has been banned from quote unquote all the libraries on the face of the earth. Man, I bet he was happy to leave without having a single sentence. That's so good. There's so that many books a, there. There's so many books there. A, like yeah, there's a single sentence. I yep. I wrote that headline wrong. Um, according to CBS, a man uh, a, a man found with a friend's severed head in the car after a Las Vegas police chase said, "quote unquote," there was a reason. But no, I want but what I but what I want to know is how did they teach a praying mantis to drive? They rip the heads off of the the wife they have, when they have sex when with they them. Have yes. sex with them. Yeah. This no, is wait, no wait, wait, wait. They rip the heads off when they have sex with them. I love I this segment. I don't think so you're getting much. it. I don't think you're getting it. I don't think you're understanding. La- la- last night, this is no longer last night, by the way. When I wrote this, this happened last night and we were going to record. Yeah. I just yeah. I forgot about it. But I guess um, last week or when you're watching this two weeks ago, um, Russian President Vladimir Putin allegedly fell down the stairs at his residence, and MSN reports. Um, before the examination, doctors escorted the president to the bathroom and helped him clean up. Man, it looks like Vladimir isn't the only Putin the doctors have to worry I about now. I knew it. I knew you were going to say that. It's because of the fucking praying mantises having sex and ripping their heads off. This guy is smart. I'm He's a gorm. Uh, this past week, Kanye West said he likes Hitler. FIFA president Gianni Infantino. G- Gianni Infantino. Gianni Infantino. Yeah, FIFA president. FIFA president. The only one. FIFA president Gianni Infantino. Yep. Says that he no that says that he sees no reason why North Korea should not host a World Cup. This comes only a week after saying that he feels gay. Man, I really have to be start paying more attention to soccer. <laughs> what the fuck is going on in soccer? Uh, the craziest Wait, place the Super Bowl was ever held was Detroit, Michigan, and the closest the NFL ever got to feeling gay was all the time every Sunday. Man, just look at those men. Wait, can we go roll back that one again? Can we yeah, roll- yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. This is people love it when they, they read a news headline and then they read the same thing again, again. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So, do you want me to read the whole thing or just from the uh, Super actually Bowl start part? from the beginning? <laughs> start from the beginning. Okay. FIFA president Gianni Infantino says he sees no reason why North Korea should not host the World Cup. This comes only a week after saying that he feels gay. Man, I really have to start paying more attention to soccer. The craziest place the Super Bowl was ever held was Detroit, Michigan, and the closest the NFL got to feeling gay was all the time every Sunday. Man, just look at those men. What? One more time. <laughs> He's the president. What the fuck? I'm getting happened? better at this. I should practice this before. That f- was my last story, by the way. That the was fuck it. Is that was happening the news. on Sunday. That they're gay. They play football. They're tight, tight, muscular men. Oh. 
oh. and they they wrap each I other. You were talking and get about church. Sweaty. I thought you were talking about church. The regurgitated podcast new segment. Everyone, give it a round of applause. Round of applause. <laughs> It was a pretty good one. It was a pretty good one. You know that um podcast I shared with you that I really liked that yeah. you said was really yeah. shit posty? Yeah, yeah, Skeleton yeah. Realm. By the way, I I put a like on the regurgitated. I don't know why I did this. I'm trying to network with people. I was on the regurgitated reflex channel. I left a comment on their most recent episode. They liked it. They've heard our name. But the skeleton realm, uh skeleton realm live, by the way. Quick, quick shout out for me. Um they, their website is called Skelopedia. I love it so much. It's just, it's, they literally just ripped the code from Wikipedia and just changed it to be about them. It's That's just awesome. literally like, it's literally like a Wikipedia code rip about themselves. But I was just thinking I should put Gorms in the regurgitated wiki. You should put Gorms in yeah. the regurgitated Welcome to TikToks, everybody. We're reacting to TikToks, everybody. Thank you, Zach, for making the TikTok. Comp- Thank you, I Zach. I mean, TikToks. Thank you, Zach, for making the TikTok compilation. I don't hear audio. Oh, I have it muted. Oh my god! I'm oh, sorry. Was that mean? Wait, I, I, can I rescind? Hey guys, we're back to TikTok. <laughs> I fucking love this show. <laughs> that was a pretty good one. Why'd she break the window? What did you like say that? that was problematic? Nothing. Okay. Is he going through a meat grinder? <laughs> no, yes, that's sir. not a meat grinder. Is airport nice security. Ooh. Hey, yo. It's the white what? privilege edition go. Grand Wagoneer. Oh, that's good. Cool. in Toledo and the surrounding areas. All the women in Toledo. Toledo. I'm Just no. I'm looking for somebody. Ah, uh, he's given up it's on you. It's not worth my time. It's not worth his time. I'm going to hear is your effing ugly. Oh Once no! I pull your tooth. Who hurt him? Once you pay me to pull your tooth out of your body, I own that tooth. <gasps> it belongs to me. Why is he taking it? Takes. Now it's mine. Why is he taking it means the tooth? I can do whatever I want with that tooth. I can make a necklace out of it. I can make a nice timepiece. I can make a tooth crystal. Why the fuck did he make a tooth it's crystal? Oh, he is harnessing the power of teeth. In a crystal. Is this like, an, is this like a and I can put glitter chaos emerald in there if I want to. Yeah, he's doing chaos magic. I can have another prototype if I want to. Look, there's an amalgam filling in there. This is mine. I own who, this. Who does he think you he is stealing teeth? You blew it. Now it's Skeletor. mine. Skeletor. So you might be thinking, that's really messed up to do stuff like he that. He is the tooth. tooth fairy. You don't even know. You don't even know what I do. You don't know what I aspire to do. You have no idea. Who is this NPC? <laughs> <laughs> He's like a bad guy. My choice. <laughs> He's a villain. Your body. Imagine you choice. see this TikTok and you go into a dentistry so, office and you see him just like in, afterwards. Police, uh, officers in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. <sighs> this is my favorite. People to be on oh the lookout no, I feel like I know where this is going. Store. And I think, yeah, I think we do, we do have his description. Can we take that? Let's take his description. I knew it. I saw it from so far away, <laughs> Have dude. you seen this meme format before? No. Okay. This is the guy uh, they, want, they wanted people in Pennsylvania to be out on the lookout for. He's got, uh, he's got a nose and some hair that goes like that. That's and, not and where my hair is. He was wearing a hat at the time of this particular particular crime. He's got kind of a chin that comes down to a, almost a point. Look at that photo Stand with all your riz, dude. Just... I got a riz on. Peter. Peter. The horse is here. What is that? What is that device? Is he making a hot dog on it? I've seen a bunch of these since I uh, saved this one. This one's been safe for a while. He's doing this with shrimp and strawberries. Is it, is it a, I've is seen it, a lot of this since I saved a, this. It's a song? No, he's just, uh, just blowing it up. It's kind of cool, Eating huh? Disorder? What the fuck is that? Nah, bitch, I'm eating this order. It's <laughs> <laughs> to find you, fuck you, and forget you, and that's the bottom line. It's the bottom line! Dude, that's what I, this is how I feel about fucking Sean, dude. Wrong <laughs> <laughs> Is he gonna come back on the show at any point, or is he just done? He's gone he forever, dead? dude. Okay. 
Life is like a motherfucking dream. I know this might get us copyright strike, this music. I'm not sure if the pitch down is gonna do it or not. So I'm just gonna talk over it. Why did he do that to them? Uh, pfft, why do you do anything? Why, why do you wake do you up do in the morning? Anything? Why do you eat food at night? So my, why don't you squirt oil all, all over the girls at Benianna? Let's talk about let's talk about Hibachi for a second. I went there for my birthday this year. What those fuckers do when you say <laughs> no, I don't want, I don't want sake. No, I don't want water. No, I don't want. Whoa, what? What Benny? What? What Hibachi Grill? What Japanese steakhouse are you going to where you get served sake like on the base price and you don't order it on your own? What? Like what hibachi grill are you going to where they're just in your meal is included sake? No, 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 no. When they fucking squirt the sake into your mouth and you say stop and they don't stop and you say no, I don't want any and they still say give I'm it to you. I'm a recovering alcoholic. I don't want to make them sad. I just don't want them not to shoot the fucking no, stuff in my cares? mouth. Who cares? They're hibachi chefs. <laughs> I guess. I guess. <laughs> that that pisses me off though. The guy was like, I was with Alexis and the guy was like, all right. Saki and I said no, and he's like, "Girlfriend, Saki." I said, "Okay," and he said, "He was like, go, 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 go," and I'm like, "Stop!" And he's still shooting. I'm just dripping sake out of my. I don't drink alcohol, my dude. You know I don't drink alcohol. This is fucking. He's gonna spit right it now. back at him. You gotta get it up and Ooh, just spit it right back at him. That's a good strat. all over everyone's food. That's a good strat, actually. Free meal, free meal, all for you, for me. That's a good idea. You actually really smart, Zach. Uh, Why well, you could have fooled suck, me? One suck Gogurt. This thing used to take me three gulps as a kid. And I'm getting it down one suck. Still on those meds, huh? Uh, yeah. I forgot if I showed shared yeah, this one with you before too. or not. This might be a repeat. Uh, think. Okay, time for an eyes open. Is that a fucking <laughs> cappuccino in her mouth? Yeah, it's a mouthuccino. Oh, this mouth one's just sad. That's crazy. Like, could you imagine just doing this podcast and a bullet comes through your desk? <laughs> Mom and dad are fighting and a bullet just comes down? No. How does that make you feel? This is abuse regardless of if he's in on it or not. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that is. Neil does that and he's going to end up choking on a bone one of these days. <gasps> I thought he was going to hit her in the head with it. <laughs> Why is Walman inspecting me? I, just, I don't want to stir Walman. I don't want to stir Walman. Why are you stirring Walman, bro? I'm not trying to stir Walman. I'm no longer welcome around Walman. That was just cryptic. I've seen this video. I ha I not heard the music. Just full ass walrus, fucking sea lion. This might be a sad context for this video. I'm not sure. It these TikToks are cursed, man. This is a cursed TikTok segment. Neither, nothing about that makes sense. This was you. That's me. That was you. That was you. Like yeah, that this I one's you. That was me. This one's you. Oh boy. Actually, I wish this one was me. I've been I've been, I've been in situations like this. Oh, that's never mind. It's starting to get weird. And now this is the weird part. We're gonna do a show in one of these, and we're in the sewer. Dude, if you have like, if you have like a like a hard on for like ironworks and shit like that, this video is for you. You know how like people like. Cats well, no, this is for Glognut fans. Glug nuts, I love glog nuts. Sorry, glog, glog nuts. Glog nut harvesting plant. You know how people watch videos? Alexis does this. I watch videos where it's just like a bunch of like videos of cats with weird music and edits. Yeah. This is the glog nut version of exactly this is, that. Yeah this, is, yeah, this is like cat memes if you're a glog nut fan. If you're a glog nut fan. Exactly right. Yeah. If you love glog nuts, this is the video for you. I just have a broken TikTok feed at this point. Oh my god, I'm dead. This little girl knows what's up. 
Did you? Did you? Did he, that's the, from the video. No, that's the video. That is the video. Yeah, because that has a TikTok watermark. I don't edit these. I just put TikToks together. Oh, I forgot to take that part out. No, you cringe lord, Zach. You're fucking I, cringe, bro. That was my first mistake. That was my bad. That was my bad. I was feeling hungry when I went to. Win they made their the burger vertical. And asked for the biggest burger they had on the menu, and it was a nine patty burger. And that Did was you eat? From Wendy's. Oh, I was about to ask you, Zachary. I would try. If you were, if you asked for the biggest thing on the menu and they handed you a, a patty with nine. Uh, a burger with nine patties. You already paid for it, so you already. How much does that cost? Twenty dollars. Let's just say twenty twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. You you happily pay for it. You, it's already in front. Well, of why you. are you putting the emotion on me? Why are you putting me? I'm happily paying for this. Well, it's already in front of you. Is my point. It's right right in front of you. Do you attempt to eat all of it? Well, yeah, of course. Do you have diarrhea afterwards? Yeah, of course. Okay, I figured. I knew you were gonna Although say. Maybe, it. I knew you were gonna say that in the same exact <laughs> fucking tone. I knew you were gonna All say that. All right, this. calm down. <laughs> you don't know me that well. Listen, little guy. Listen, little. Maybe I take a patty or two off and save it for later. Oh, there was one TikTok I meant to save. Um, oh, don't me. Um, <laughs> Do anything. There was, there was one I meant to save, but the guy disabled saving videos on it, so oh. I couldn't do it. Um, but it was this guy who was like, I heard they're getting rid of Big Macs, and I never had one. And I asked them, I convinced the lady to sell me frozen Big Macs. He has this big box, or, or not Big Macs, McRibs, I'm sorry. This big box of just frozen McRibs and the sauce. They just let him take it. Wow. I felt jealous. Although they, um, I don't, I wouldn't have a place to store it them if they did sell me them. Do you like Big Mac sauce? I don't like Big Macs. I don't like the sauce. You know what's funny? I was thinking of um okay, I'm putting this out in the universe. Did you mention chaos magic earlier? I'm doing it right now. I was thinking, Ben, about, you know, we're only getting our friends on as guests. Maybe we reach out and s- try to see if we can do some outreach and see if we can get a a, a, a like a like a real guest on. I thought, and I don't know how to contact him. So I'm putting this out here in the universe. I looked this up. Dan. Gorski. Do you know who Dan Gorski is? He is the official Big Mac connoisseur. He, a couple years ago, finally finished his, like, what was it, like 20,000 Big Mac or something like that. He is, like, on record as being, like, McDonald's biggest fan. And I am someone who's documented a major McDonald's fan. This guy eats a Big Mac every day. He keeps Big Macs in a suitcase when he's traveling in case he doesn't, he's not able to get there. Do you think it's like a? Do you think I think it was Dan Gorski? Let me make sure. Go ahead. Do you think it's like a hyper uh, fixation on something, or do you think he just likes them that much? Do you think it's like a disorder or like a uh, a, a brain? <laughs> well, he, if you asked him, it would be. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say he's a mental disorder. If I'm gonna try to reach out to him as a guest, do you think he's but, retarded? Um, no. <laughs> just wanted to share it with you guys on TikTok. Never knew they had a big burger like that. Big burger. Big burger. We are the children of the I don't know if this is copyrighted or not. We were regurgitated podcast in 2070. I mean, you. Yeah. As rail fans, we've all been there, little buddy. You'll get used to the horn. <laughs> you better the worst song. You better not cry. Better not fun. Merry Christmas, everyone. YouTube music, bad music, music like Ice JJ Fish, um, fucking what's that dude's name? Velu, Venu Malish, uh, uh, D4NNY, bang. Every all of them are banger. All of them are banger. I love them. I have a quick YouTube tip, YouTube hack mm-hmm. for the people out there. Go to the YouTube search bar. Right, we'll open up a new tab because you're gonna finish this or watch it twice. Um, open up a new tab. And look up Eminem cover and then sort it by uploaded in the last hour. Thank me later. I have something to show you too. That'll be the last thing we do because it's beautiful. All right. Let's okay. Go. Merry Christmas, everyone. If I destabilized Iraq, then why would I have this set of ID cards of all the Iraqi people that I helped? 
What the fuck am I looking at? Someone posted in the comments, uh, M. Effer playing Kill Confirmed IRL. <laughs> TikTok bit over. I want you to do me a favor, Zach, and I want to make sure I do it right before I ask you to do it. So let me just do it on my own. It's insanity what this, what what I'm about to look up. <laughs> Big booby goth GF. Am I, am I dumb? Did I, am I... Did it, I mean, it might have changed between then and now. Well, the idea, yeah. Oh my God, the idea. It's not. It's not. It's not as as prevalent as it was prior. It's still pretty prevalent for sure. Um, you know what else is prevalent? What else is prevalent? Your mom. Um, the idea was, uh, if you look up Fortnite on Instagram and then go to the accounts page, it's just a bunch of. Rule 34 of Fortnite, like almost exclusively. Um, um, $19 Fortnite card. It, unfortunately, it, Fortnite seems, card. it seems that there's less less on it than there was the other day. Uh, you're which, telling me that the Fortnite Rule 34 sub community on Instagram got cracked down on? You want to see a picture of Fortnite boobs? Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> Fortnite boobs. I don't know if that's a character from Fortnite. That just may, may be a person. I don't know. It doesn't look like a Fortnite character. It looks like a CGI bimbo. This is Fortnite. You're editing this, you know? You're not uploading this on our... Uh, unedited on the channel. Unless this is that's it. That's just the episode. Probably get more clicks than a normal episode. If I have Fortnite boobs? Yep. That's just, that's just human porn. I don't know. Um, okay. Well... <laughs> As opposed to what? <laughs> that was the end of the podcast. I appreciate everybody who stopped by and said hello. I appreciate you, Zach, for making the TikTok compilation, making the content actually good, and being and carrying this podcast as you normally do. I'm going to go get a bite to eat before I go to slumber. I thank you all for stopping by, trying. If a- you've watched this much of the episode at any point in history, leave a comment that says, "I am a gorm. I love gorms." Leave a comment that says, I am a Gorm. I love Gorms. Thank you, everybody. Uh, my Minecraft account got hacked, and I need a sugar mama. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Oh, you're a funny guy. <laughs>